Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Ultimate Iron Man Challenge, Stardew Valley Edition. I I know this might sound crazy, but after I finished the stream last night, I was like, I want to keep playing this challenge. Like, I was having a great time, <laughs> and uh, and I had to restrain myself to, in, to like, not start my own little personal Iron Man file on the side <laughs> and, and, and cheat on you guys with that. I don't know what it is. I really like this idea for the challenge, and I, I was kind of intoxicated by it the first stream. I do also see, by the way, Karita Hearts. It is your birthday. Karita Hearts, regular stream viewer. Happy birthday. Can we get some HBD spam in chat for, for Karita Hearts? Maybe throw some, some birthday cake emojis in there as well. Rita has been around for a very long time. I hope you're having a wonderful birthday dinner. I think you're I think you're at a dinner right now based on your chat messages earlier. So enjoy that and I hope to see you here a little later in the stream. And if you're listening to this back to the VOD now, then you can look at all the people spamming HBD in chat and uh and feel and feel loved, hopefully. I hope you are loved. You are I mean you are loved, but I hope you feel loved. All right. This sounds miserable. Dar, welcome. Welcome to the channel. We do things that other people think sound miserable, and we put a little fun, optimistic spin on it, and uh, and see how things go. This is just the the next leg of our Stardew Valley masochism journey, whatever you want to call it. Hey, by the way, speak. We're not we're not done with Karita yet because Karita Hearts has also sent in a little piece of fan art for the stream which I will go over right now. It's the only piece uh, we've received since last time, but it is a very cute one. It's not necessarily like a Stardew-themed thing, but uh, Karita posted in the fan art channel, and I am uh, I'm a fan of the art myself. So here we got this little... Apparently this is called a Slug Cat from, from Rain World, I think was uh, what it was from. I don't know like what it is. I don't really know anything about Rain World or Slug Cats, but this is a very adorable creature, and I love it. <laughs> and it makes me incentivized to go and play uh, to play Rain World. So thank you, Karita, for bringing this cute little son of a gun to my attention. I greatly appreciate it. Super, super cute. The eyes so green. It's green like Chloe. I love it. And hey, if you've got any fan art you'd like to share yourself that you might want to see on stream, exclamation point Discord. There's also a link to the Discord in the description. Wherever we have a fan art channel, you're welcome to share it over there. Let us know how you want to be credited, if you want to be credited. And uh, yeah, so it's a good time. We've had a lot of fan art over the over the past year. Very, very cool. All right. Oh, gosh, this song. <laughs> The one song in the Stardew soundtrack that I cannot really abide. I, I, I just don't like this one much at all. And thank you for the re reminder as well, Nightbot. The Stardew Valley Awards happening on February 4th. Voting is open until February 2nd, so make sure you get your votes cast. Yo, Tripleberry! Oh my gosh. I was thinking about you the other day. I was like, it's been a while since I've seen Tripleberry around. I hope you're doing well. You like the song? I'm not. I'm not a fan of the of the metal version of of Sam's band. It's just not uh, not for me. At any rate, I digress. We have some stuff to go over at the start of the stream here. So I alluded to. Um, so let me let me dial it back a little bit here. Back to the yesterday's stream, to the first stream of the Iron Man challenge. Um. A lot of the scuttlebutt, a lot of the questions. By the way, exclamation point FAQ now is is officially live. We have a we have a FAQ document, so you can reference that if you need to. Um, but one of the most frequently asked questions was, was what are you going to do when it comes to crafting? What are you going to do when it comes to cooking? Because the most slots we could ever have on this challenge is going to be two free slots: one that we start with, and one that we are able to get when we send a tool in for an upgrade, and that's kind of it. And obviously most crafting and cooking recipes require more than two slots. They require at least three, if not four or five for some things, so it's, uh, it's a bit of a conundrum. And I sort of alluded to the fact that I have a solution up my sleeve, and I wanted to keep it a surprise, but 
I think it's going to be better for the challenge overall if we're just all on the same page here. And I just lay my cards on the table. We can talk about it because I think there might be some controversy when I unveil the strategy. I don't know for sure. I think it's I think it's really fun and cool, but maybe maybe you all won't. I guess we'll I guess we'll find out. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get to that. Bridges are also not allowed as far as the challenge goes. So that was the that was the main thing. But. I'm going to go over this, and in order to go over this, the best way to do this is actually with an example. So I'm going to go ahead and load into a little testing farm here that I've set up beforehand. Just give me one second. Put the con Argon with the controversial tactics. I've, some people have talked about it. Some people have, you know, thrown out their conjecture for, like, theories as to what they think this uh, this mystery strategy might be. And some people have mentioned things that are sort of in the right vein. No one's quite gotten it all the way, though, I don't think. Not that I've seen. So here we are on... Uh, say Everyone say hello to Teresa the Tester. She's she's the tester today. Just a random little character I threw together for, uh, for this purpose. As you can see, she also has just six inventory slots, which are filled with the five tools and the 15 starting parsnip seeds. Is this copper axe level controversy? We're gonna find out the we're gonna find out 101 gamer. Alright. So, what is this method and why is it something that cannot be done at like right off the bat? It's because, as some people probably have guessed, and when I do this, when I go to where I'm about to go, by my cheating warp menu that I'm gonna deactivate as soon as we get into the actual farm, don't worry. Um as soon as I go where I'm about to go, some people might if so it might click for some people immediately. Some people it's going to take a little bit extra, but here's what we do: we go warp locations. You go all the way straight to the bottom. You warp to the forge on Ginger Island. Hello, by the way, Koji. So here we are at the forge. The forge is very special. Okay, forge is special in that it is pretty much the only place in the game where you can put a tool in like a different slot that's not your inventory. Obviously, you can put tools in chests, but that's about the only place, right? So that this is the only spot you can put this. Now, it's not as simple as like, okay, well, I can just store my axe here and leave, right? No, it's not quite like that, because you leave, your axe is just back in your inventory. It doesn't... The game goes to great lengths to make sure you do not ever lose your tools. But there's a bit of a workaround here, okay? What you do, follow the logic real quick. We're going to throw... If we can't throw our tools on the ground, but I can throw these 15 parsnip seeds on the ground. It doesn't have to be parsnip seeds, it can be like whatever. Then, I'm going to go over here, pick up this. It's a prismatic shard. Go me, I'm so lucky. Now, I go back here, and then I'm going to go ahead and put my axe back into the forge. Now, you'll notice the parsnips have gone back into my inventory. So... There's no room left for the axe. What happens when you leave the menu? That happens. That's that's what happens. And then you can just leave and leave that there. It's it's extremely <laughs> It looks so wrong, doesn't it? Just seeing a tool on the ground like this. It seems just like it seems wrong. But it is a thing that you can do. And we can do this. You have to, as, as far as I know, you have to leave and come back. Like, if I leave, I'll show, I'll show you how this works. We leave, go, like, anywhere. Tool on the ground is so cursed. You're not wrong. We leave, come back. The axe is still there. You'll notice it's telling me inventory full. That's because if I take out, um, if I take out, like, a, if I just open an inventory slot here at any point, like, anywhere on the map, it really wants me to have this tool back. The axe is going to come flying straight back to me. So that is, that's basically how this would work. Do you guys, are you guys, are you guys okay with this? Because I could see how it could be somewhat controversial. It's vaguely glitch-like, but I think it's also an exploit that falls within sort of the boundaries of the challenge. It's within the spirit of the challenge. Get that walnut is, I mean, it's just a test farm, but okay. <laughs> Seems legit. I think I just want to I want to run it by people mostly because I I could see a situation where like I would get to this point in the game I would show it to people and people would be like I don't like that that's not great 
<laughs> but I think it's uh, most people seem to be okay with it. And here, here's how this works, because we can only get rid of one tool at a time. If I try to do this with like another tool, obviously my the tool is going to go back into my inventory. So what I have to do, you would take this, you would go back to the farm, go to sleep for the night. Or do whatever else you're going to do for the day, then go to sleep, it doesn't matter. Wake up, and you get some, some items were placed in the town lost and found. So now if I go back to the forge, you will see the axe is no longer going to be here. And I can sort of rinse and repeat with, um, with a different tool if I want to. So this is how I would get, like, extra inventory slots. I'll just pick, like, whatever up. Um, we go over here. Go ahead and... Yeah, there's something on the ground. Go ahead and put the pickaxe in, drop it out. Rinse and repeat. We can do that for every single tool, except for the scythe, because the scythe cannot be put into the forge. It's not enchantable. The forge? We're to, this is just a testing farm. Don't worry, we're not at the forge, like, actually yet. Don't worry about it. And so with this method, we can get rid of every tool except the scythe, like I said, and free up to five inventory slots, which happens to be the exact number you need to be able to craft and cook everything. Because the most that any recipe requires, I'm pretty sure, is five items. So we need to get rid of literally every single tool. And then when I need to like go get my tools again, because obviously I'm going to need my tools, I would have to wait until like 9 a.m., go over to town... Hop on over to Mayor Lewis's, and our and our tools are ripe and ready for for picking up. It is right there. There's our tool. It's very tricky. Yeah, four extra slots potentially, which is uh, which will be good. And I think the fact that I can't get it until Ginger Island until the, until the forge is like kind of nice. It's it's like a sort of unlock I get in addition to everything else from the community center. Hello, by the way, Laney. Happy to have you in here. That is. That is my grand strategy. I'm hoping that it's going to work out and that there's not any little hitches in the plan. But there you go. And everyone's, most people seem to be on board with it. I think, uh, I think, I think that's the way we're going to go. I did have some other potential options to, that I was going to try for, but I think this is the most elegant solution that's in the spirit of the challenge. I like it. I like it personally. Either way, that is that's what we're going with at least for now. Until I see arguments to the contrary, or if there's a way to figure out how to get rid of tools in a in like a less kind of sussy way <laughs> to put it to to put. I don't think this is like like would you guys constitute this as a glitch or would you con constitute this as just like a clever tactic? I don't I don't know how I would actually classify this. It's it's like right on the line, kind of like the uh, kind of like the chair method to get into the secret woods. I'm not necessarily opposed to like all glitches, but I try to stray away from them when I can. But very creative solution that nobody would find playing normally. Not a glitch, not cheating, not a glitch. It's an oversight. I would I would say it's definitely an oversight. Like this is not the way that Concerned Ape con would want the game working. But the fact that it's like a little oversight that would no normally you would never care to do this. No one wants to get rid of their tools except for me in this very strange situation. Froglin, you jumped in at a at a bit of a confusing time. I'm going over my strategy for how to get rid of tools in order to clear up space for for crafting. Um I'll, I'll put it in the I'll put it in the FAQ in order to in order to make it easier to access. But for right now, that's where we stand. Wouldn't it be so much easier to just die in the mines, drop them that way? Intensive porpoise. I needed to. I wanted to bring that up as well. So I'm glad you actually mentioned it on the wiki. It mentions there's a brief mention on like the tools page or something that you that like you can lose a tool by dying in the mines and accidentally losing it. I tested this. I. I knocked my money down to zero. I had only my tools in my inventory. I died on repeat in the mines and Skull Cavern, just tr varying up as much many things as I could. I could not get any of my tools to drop out of my inventory. It, it was not happening. So I don't know if there's just a specific circumstance that that happens in, or if it's an old version thing or what. But I tried that because that was uh, that was one method I also played with, but I could not make it happen. 
concerned they wrote to code specifically to handle tools on the ground, so I think that's fair. That's a good way to put it, too, Jeff. Yeah, it might have changed in an update, but... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe the wiki needs updated. The, have we just found the first thing ever on the stream that we need to like send into the wiki? Like, hey, you need to update this? I don't know. But either way, we're going to go ahead and I'm actually going to exit all the way to desktop here. I'll send you guys back to uh, back to the fishing pond for a minute so I can get rid of these mods out of my folder that I was that I was using to show off this testing thing. We get rid of this and this and this. Get rid of all those, and then we, we should be good, and I just load start back, starting back up again. You played 3, 000, almost 3,000 hours and have never lost the tool in the mines. Yeah, weapons you can lose in the mines, but, but not tools. How did I find out about this, Allie? I found out about this specifically because I was testing for the Iron Man challenge, seeing, like, are there ways to get rid of my tools? The, only, the first thing that came to mind was the forge, because I'm like... It's the only place I can think that interacts with tools in a unique way like this. So I played around with it, and it happened to work. And I was like, oh, oh, this is this is my big brain moment. All right, load back into Iron Man Farm proper here, and we can actually carry on with the with the challenge. We got a long way to go before we can even worry about the forge on the in the actual challenge. But uh, <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, oh, I'm also going to, real quick, I just want to change some of my sound settings in here. Make things a little bit quieter, because I was listening back to the VOD, and things seemed a tiny bit loud on the game front. Not, like, overwhelmingly loud, but I wouldn't mind them being a bit quieter. All right. Now let me bring you all back in. And here we are. Can we use the, the Fall Grange Festival to send it to the Lost and Found? I don't think you can put tools in the Grange Festival, but you can put other things to put send to the Lost and Found. I don't know nec I guess I could do that for to like store something if I wanted to. That's a pretty clever idea, Jay Nuggets. I like that. Wicked smart. <laughs> Alright, here we are back again once again. One more day till the Egg Festival. I should probably stock up on some money. I did spend it all on a Diviner table. I'll probably do a bunch of clay farming stuff, start off the day, try and get some money that way. I can sell some crops, I think, that are ready. Um, by the way, another big sort of uh, advent of the challenge, something I should point out. Let me actually, I'm just going to close one thing here. Okay. Just get, let me, sorry, I got to get my stream set up situated. I know we're like almost 20 minutes in the stream and don't, have done nothing, but... I think it was some, kind of some, some important stuff to go over. All right. Um, yeah, but another update. Resident uh, community, manor, can you, community member modder Chalo J, who has done a lot of stuff for the Price of Perfection in the past and various other challenge runs and things, has come through in the clutch yet again. You might have even noticed it when we were doing our testing. We now actually... It shows only six inventory slots here. As opposed to having, we used to just show 12 and we just couldn't access the other ones, but now it only shows the first six, so. And there's Charlo J right there, welcome. Thank you very much for this, uh, this nice little quality of life mod. It makes things much more visually apparent. I like it. Raise the table, Cole, by the way. And the table parsnip now, I guess, but, uh, that's, that's, that's a more temporary fixture. Speaking of, I should actually, okay, I need, I need to get back in the habit of things here, so we're gonna drop that. Get this and check for the gold quality parsnips. No gold quality parsnips, so we just go ahead and swap back over. I will take the green beans. That's a silver quality green bean right there. Ooh, I'll sell that. Hello, by the way, Tim Beeb. Only table coal. Only table coal will get special treatment. Deluxe fishing pole and some bait. Thanks, Willie. I don't think... I, oh, can I even buy bait from Willie? Because... <laughs> I, I mean, maybe you can and put it directly into the fishing rod. I didn't, I didn't test that. <laughs> that's a, that's an idea for sure. All right, we gotta save one of these green beans for the community center, but I will sell the other three because I can't see a reason not to. Get a little bit of extra money, and then we'll just water everything. Goal this challenge, Connor Tweed, exclamation point FAQ for goals and rules and all that kind of breakdown. The main goal is to get 100% perfection. We have a bunch of side goals. The main, the biggest one being collect all clothing, which is all hats, all rings, all boots, all shirts, all shoes, all service, all... <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, but 
All of everything. If it's if it's something you can wear on your person, we're collecting it. Do I feel green around the gills with these crops? Salem, you know what? I'm not used to this many crops. This is this is a new experience for me, certainly. I don't need to water those two because they are f just fully grown parsnips anyway. I do need to water these because they won't regrow otherwise, obviously. Yeah, I'm not going to be that well set up for strawberries, but I'm not super concerned about going, like, insanely fast, at least off the off the bat here. I'm more focused with, like, you know, completing the community center and, and ultimately trying to get more inventory slots by sending a tool in for an upgrade at some point here. That That is still my primary goal, I think. Speaking of, it is a good luck day, but I would probably rather go clay farming. Where am I putting the clothes? We will be able to have a dresser in order to store the clothes in. Or multiple dressers if we want to. Alright, I'm going to run over to the community center, and then I think I'm going to go clay farming with the rest of my energy here. Seems like a plan to me. They're overstimulated from doing two things two days in a row. No worries, purple. I, kinda under I honestly understand that. It's going to be a little while before we do the Iron Man challenge again, though. It's going to be in, not until probably, like, next Monday, I think, because the the, the other two streams this week are going to be more uh, variety content, going back to the Gift-a-thon, and then and also playing some more It Takes Two with Charlie Barley, which will be a fun time. There we go. Almost got all our spring crops complete. Nice inventory update. I, I'm glad you think so, Alexion. It's I, it's very sleek. It's it's. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't change anything mechanically, but it just makes th things look better. Now the thumbnail's not like as much of a lie because the toolbar actually looks like this. <laughs> Restore things by by selling them to the shopkeepers and buying them again. That is one way to do it. Yeah, I think uh, was it Algo dropped in and uh, and mentioned that the other day. Or the, I mean, the first day, yesterday, literally yesterday. That is one way to go. In fact, I can probably check in, because I think I sold some stuff to Pierre. Not but a couple days ago. Yeah, there's nine parsnips in here and one wild horseradish. So technically, this is a way to store them. If by storage, you mean I have to buy them back. But <laughs> it is technically a way to go about it. Do you get them back for the same price that you sell them at? I honestly, I mean, do you sell a parsnip for 35? That sounds right, I think. You think after you finish It Takes Two, you might plan to do more co-op projects? I, w I could definitely do more co-op projects for sure. I think I'd be down for that. I just have to get past my social anxiety in order to like talk to people and ask them to do co-op projects and stuff. I was able to get past with Charlie because we're we're buddies. I've no, I've known her for a considerable amount of time now, and you know I don't feel that anxious talking to her. But even then, it was like, hey, <laughs> it was kind of, it was kind of kind of I I always feel like just weird bringing that kind of stuff up. I don't know if that's just me, but all right, let's let me get my clay farming set up. Good to go here. Yeah, Stardew Awards are on February fourth. You know, I should bring... I, sh I should save... I think I can save two of these for the Crab Pot Bundle, right? I might as well sell this other one that I got, but I can, sa I can save those two that are on the ground right now for the Crab Pot Bundle. That's fine by me. Welcome back, Blue Fire, or welcome in. Table Cole is, is just as well as, as when we left him. He is doing all right, as far as I know. I, I mean, I didn't ask him necessarily, because he's a piece of coal. I don't think he would respond, but... He looked, like, pretty good. What does your inventory look like? I mean, you're seeing the entire thing right now at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> That's the beauty of the challenge. At any given moment, you can ask, hey, do you have this? And you can just look at the inventory and be like, yes or no, he doesn't have that. Unless it's stored on a table somewhere, then, uh... <laughs> Then it's, it's right here with me. Am I going to get more parsnips today? I would like to, but that involves getting more money. 
And I need more clay for that, so glad I got this clay farming started now. I need to get clay so I can sell to Robin before she closes at 5 and then get to Pierre's and buy some stuff. Or I could save the money for strawberries, which is probably the better play because I can get more parsnip seeds whenever. They don't take that long to grow, right? Yeah, they only take like four days to grow, so... I, sh I should probably save whatever money I can from this clay farming endeavor today for strawberries tomorrow. And then, um, and then we can focus more on getting crops for the, the quality crops and stuff. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and sell all this clay. I'll buy like a, a salad or two to keep going. Robin closes at 4 today. It's Friday. Thank you. I always forget about that. In fact, I don't even know if I knew that necessarily, but, uh, but thank you very much. Can I leave a fish tank at the beach? You can leave a fish tank in Willie's shop, but you can't leave it outside on the beach. Pretty much anywhere that's like has an interior, you can leave a fish tank, but uh, but it doesn't work at uh, like you know it's out exterior locations. From everything I found. Oh my goodness, Laney, Laney, <laughs> thank you very much for the twenty-five dollars super chat. That's so generous. Just introduced your twenty-five k subscribers. We did literally hit that today, so <laughs> I mean that's pretty exciting. Uh, thank you so much. I, I greatly appreciate the generosity. That's always, uh, that's, that's amazing. Thank you all. That's, uh, wow. <laughs> thank you very much. Here's, here's to the next 25k, hopefully. I don't know. All right. Not a great amount of money. <laughs> we can get seven strawberry seeds with this. But I think I will probably... Use some of this. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna use some of this to buy some salads first. I am so poor right now. That table really kind of bankrupted me the other day, didn't it? I didn't think about it too hard. I saw a table and I clicked, and I was like, you know what? Maybe that was a bit of a mistake. But it's a it's a nice looking table. You cannot deny that. All right, pick up some salads. Just get, get like two salads. That should be fine. Restock the energy reserves a wee bit. Actually, quite a bit. And then, hopefully that's enough energy to get me through the rest of the, like, clay farming pattern. Like, just go ac across uh, basically the entire beach. We should get a decent amount of money from that. Hopefully it's somewhere in the neighborhood of, like, $2,000 to $3,000 if I'm, if I'm good and lucky. Well, you don't really, really need to be lucky with clay farming. You just need to, you know, not break the pattern. And then we're chilling. This hat, man, I can't, I can't with this hat. It's just, it does not vibe with the, with the look I usually have for Chloe. I look like a longshoreman. I don't even know what the heck that is, but I look like one. It wasn't Karita's birthday yesterday? I think it's, I think it's Karita's birthday today. I think uh, she changed her name maybe late yesterday. Actually, no, she was still, like, purple Karita Hearts yesterday. I'm assuming it's today. Either way, whenever if the, it's currently the birthday season, so happy birthday to Karita, of course. What hat is this? This is the Sow Wester. This is a little, little, it's got a little Sow Westerniness -western to it. The shape helps keep sailors dry during storms. I think it's unlocked by catching 10 fish, which is kind of hilarious that that's the first achievement I got since fishing is pretty asinine in this uh, <laughs> in this challenge. But it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like, when I was drafting up the challenge, I was like, oh, I'm going to have to delete my fishing rod every single time. That's a pain. But no, we can actually toss it on the ground and, uh, and reuse it as long as it doesn't fall in the water. So that is the big brain strategy. We're going to be uncovering a lot of different cool strategies throughout this challenge, I think. Some that, like, I couldn't even possibly imagine, I'm sure. Some that we already know are on the horizon, like the one I talked about near the start of the stream there. With the, with the forge and everything, so... I'm looking forward to it. How come you're getting clay every spot? It's not a glitch, it's just a... 
deep knowledge of how clay spawning works in Stardew Valley. There are patterns that you can follow that work basically every time. And if you there's there's a few different like tutorials and different ways that you can go about it, but this is the way that I happen to know. So it's it's not just like random luck, obviously. <laughs> this this would be this would be one heck of a of a lucky coincidence for me to just be sitting here not saying anything as this is happening, but it is a uh, it is a great way not only to get make like early money because clay sells for for 20 gold a pop, but also to like get clay because clay is kind of one of those resources that is not always the easiest to come by. Later in the game, when you have access to the dig site and you have those like clay rocks and stuff, that's a little bit easier. But this is still a pretty valuable strategy otherwise. Uh, it's here, right? Yeah, okay. I'm not going to go too in-depth into my clay farming tactics. You're just going to have to trust that I know what I'm doing to a certain extent here and, you know, believe in the process. All right, I think I can do a little bit more and get one more row. I'm going to get, like, close to one more row. I don't because it takes two energy per hoe here. I get one more. Actually, I'm not even going to risk the one more. I'll just I'll just bank my 112 clay and call it at that. Oh, hey. <laughs> this little hard event. I might as well see this one through. I mean, you do get a little bit of friendship points with Linus. This one's always been so weird to me because, like, this is not an actual, like, two heart, four heart, six heart event like most of them are. This is, like, a zero heart event. Journal updated? What, what did I do? Is this me meeting George for the first time and he was the last character that I had to meet in order to meet everybody? <laughs> that would be a heck of a way to do that. I've never, I don't think I've ever made that achievement in a, I don't think I've ever gotten an achievement in a cutscene like that. At least not in a heart event cutscene. It's a weird one. <laughs> I'll take it, though. True randomness is hard to program. It. Yeah, that's why the... That's basically, at its essence, why clay farming works. Is because everything is, like, based on patterns. Um, shame for food to go to waste. I don't know if you actually have to see the cutscene through in order to get the, like, uh, the friendship points with him. Or if, like, just selecting the option is good enough. I'll let it play out anyway, though. We stand hard events around here. Stardew Valley clay looks edible. I mean, it looks more appetizing than regular clay. You can eat clay, right? Clay is, like, not, like... I mean, it's probably not good for you, but it's not going to kill you either. At, at least as long as you don't eat it in, like, large quantities. I feel like I've heard that before. Like some people like to eat clay, and they're like, "Ooh, it's salty," and I'm like, "I guess that makes sense. It's a, it's like minerals and stuff." Gus is so precious. Gus and Linus are too too precious for this world. Oh, hello. Robin has a hot temper, dude. She's one foot behind you. <laughs> you can't say that. What the heck are you doing, man? Depends on the clay and the composition, honestly. That's that makes a lot of sense, because not all clay is gonna be created equal. The earth is a big place, so the clay uh <laughs> clay is very different depending on where you go, I'm sure. Alright, sell that clay. Um I can go back. I mean, I've got a little bit of time. I'm gonna run back down to the beach. And I will pick up the I'll pick up one of those beach forge and might as well take it to the community center. Yeah, that was uh that was that quest to like meet everybody because now I got to give someone a gift quest. Why can you eat sap but not clay? Asking the real questions. If you enjoy licking rocks, become a geologist. Is that what geologists do all day? They just sit around licking rocks? Honestly, like sign me up. Can you, like, tell anything about a rock other than how salty it is based on, like, licking it? I feel like that's the only, like, you could de you could, you could determine the texture, but you can also determine that by just, like, touching it with your hands. <laughs> which is probably, probably smarter. Like, what else would a rock possibly taste like? It's going to taste like dirt, or it's going to taste like salt. Some, some level of saltiness, I assume. 
All right, first little bit of the crab pot bundle done. I don't think I have enough time quite to get back to, like, go get that uh, muscle, bring it up here, and take it to the community center, so I'm just going to go ahead and call it there. You can tell the porosity, how porous it is. I guess that's true, but there's, there's got to be better ways to tell that. Maybe that's just a quick way to tell that. What's my strat for getting the living hat? Uh, gonna come back to that one? Gonna come back to that question when I have an answer. <laughs> I'm gonna kill wilderness golems whenever I happen to see them. And otherwise, I have no idea. I'm not the foggiest. Cut down some fiber, but... <laughs> Alright. Yeah, living hat's gonna be a bit of a bother, but it will, uh, it will be done. One way or another. Did I see your update in the mod chat, uh, Allie? I don't think I did. Spreading weeds have caused damage to my farm. Did my fences get hurt? No, but we do have two crows that ate some beans. <laughs> That's not great. Alright, parsnip's still here on the table. I don't know what the what the spreading damage was. Maybe the maybe the crows count as spreading damage. Who knows? I don't. I, I should ch chop down more stuff and like get rid of some more debris here. There's no sense. I mean, there's some sense in leaving it around because obviously it's like storage in a way, in a roundabout sense. But it's uh, it's also very unsightly. Crow equals weeds. Seems to be the case. I do see some potatoes right there, or a potato. I'll take it. They ate the sticks and the beans. <laughs> they, they ate the whole dang, yeah, like, uh, whatever it's called, the trellis that the, that the bean was on. Those are some monstrous crows. You're not wrong. Oh, you got an infection in your ear. Ooh. Ear infections are actually, like, the worst. I've never had one, thankfully, but, like, I've known people to have them, and they're... They'll put they'll put you out of commission for for a good while. That's that's not nothing to mess around with. That's for sure. So hope you get well soon, Allie. You got antibiotics and some cough pills. I mean that's that's the best you can really do in that kind of situation. I think. Yo, Gail, welcome. Ha haven't seen you in a hot minute. <laughs> I tell you a joke, living hat, but you living hat, but you wouldn't get it. Oh man, you just had to do me dirty like that, didn't you? Thank you very much for the nine months at the electro Electron level. I greatly appreciate it. Good to see you. Alright, I will sell my potatoes. And then we'll probably just go straight to the... Straight to the Egg Festival, I guess. Or I should probably... You know what? I might as well get some stuff down. Should I spend all my money on strawberry seeds? I think I probably should, honestly. I can always get more money from clay farming and or like other methods like crops and stuff. I'll get money from the strawberries themselves, obviously. And crows are liable to eat a lot of my strawberries. So I think we just buy like what would be 26 strawberries. So how many slots do I how many spots do I have here? I got, already got like uh, well I didn't mean to tow that, but that's fine, I guess. Let's just like fill out the rest of this field. We got until 2 p.m. to actually get into the festival, so that should be fine as long as I as long as I remember to go in time, which I'm sure I will. <laughs> but the hat? Oh, the hat! How's that gonna work? That's a great question. Wait, am I gonna get soft locked by the hat? <laughs> Make space for the straw hat. I need to not be wearing the sou'wester, and then I can maybe just put the hat straight on. I'll come back to that in a second. I'm just going to water all my spots first. Might as well do that uh, here. Probably need to expand this plot of land, to be honest with you. Because I want to plant more parsnips and stuff, too, around here when, the, when I get the chance. If I lose this year, I can get the hat next year. I'm not super worried about losing this year. I'm worried that my strawberry seeds are going to take up my only slot. And then I'm going to have the hat to pick up. And I'm going to have nowhere to put it because I can't put it on my head. So I'm going to have to drop 
Because I don't have a dresser yet, so we throw the sou'wester just on the floor. All sad. It looks like a little sad banana peel down there. Okay. Gotta leave the forest sword over there, too, because we need the inventory slot for, um... for strawberries. I don't need to get the hat this year. That's true. That's true, too, but... I might as well. I mean, I'm, I'm not just going to throw the egg hunt. What do you take me for? <laughs> There's no time limit on this challenge. That's a, that's a very nice uh, very nice thing right about now. All right, let's go to the egg festival and just see how this goes. I Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to buy the plush bunny. I do like the plush bunny that's available for sale at this festival. But we don't, we don't have enough space for him. A little plush bunny, and I mean, not only that, we just don't have like enough money either. All right, that's 26 strawberries. That's all I can buy. It's committed. It's done. It's set in stone. Now let's just go get some quick cheeky friendship points with everybody, and then we'll uh, we'll demolish this egg hunt. This egg hunt. Rip plush bunny for real. If I was one of those people that likes to go around and just like collect a bunch of stuff in Stardew Valley, like you know, I have like everyone's got like their own little weird thing they collect sometimes. I mean, not even just in Stardew Valley, but in games in general. I think the plush bunny would be a strong contender. Imagine just walking into a shed full of plush bunnies in the Stardew Valley. Kind of beautiful. Cause, can you get plush bunnies from the furniture catalog? There are some like special furniture items that you can't get from it. And I don't know if the plush bunny is one. I could see it being one because it's obviously available for sale here, and that's kind of gives it, so, gives it a little bit more panache and speciality than most other furniture from the furniture catalog. Hey, cheese. You can get a plush bunny from the crane game. Ooh. You made a, a, a shed full of large futon bears. That's another great one. <laughs> I do love the large futon bear. He's very huggable. I should play more of that crane game in the movie theater. I very seldom interact with it. A lot of my playtime with Stardew Valley came from before, like, the 1.5 update. And, and the movie theater was 1.4, mo but most of my playtime was, like, 1.3 and earlier, before I started doing challenge runs and stuff. And challenge runs that I've done so far have not have involved not spending... I mean, the biggest challenge run I've done so far has involved not spending unnecessary money, and obviously the crane game... Fun as it might be, is a, it falls in that category of unnecessary expenditures. All right, I think I got everybody. Let's just go ahead and uh, and trash this egg hunt. Throw your guesses in chat now. What do you think? Uh, how many eggs do you think we can get? One of mob where you can go around collecting sets of figurines, and you have characters that only want those figurines, and you need to rate those to raise your friendship. Salem, that sounds like a like a cool mod. Nice little twist on the friendship formula. I like that. 1, 14, 13, 15, 11, 13, 13, 14, 11, 11. You guys do me a disservice. Lots, lots of 11s, lots of 14s and 12s. Let's give it a try. I haven't practiced recently. I might be I might be off my game here, but I have a route. I got a route. Just trust the process. Trust the process. That's 1, 2, ooh, 3. Okay, it was a little bit, a little bit slow there, but that's all right. That's 4. Gonna grab this fifth one real quick and then double back. We go down past the south of the bush, south of the big old pink tree, the rose blossom tree, over to the sewers, say hi to Krobus and pick up our sixth egg around this little tree and sneak that cheeky egg into our pocket. One over in the graveyard here, actually two over in the graveyard here, but you gotta watch for Mona's grave. You don't wanna accidentally get that text. That would not be good for the overall route. We're up to 10 eggs. We're in the double digits already and we got 20 seconds left to go. F well, 15 seconds now. I mean, I'm talking. I'm talking past it all, but it's going fast. The time goes fast. There's an egg here. You might not even see it if you're not paying close enough attention. Don't get Mayor Lewis's truck dialogue. Just grab the egg and go. We can get up to 15 eggs. We might be able to snag a 16th if we're really fast. Ooh, oh, I was right there. <laughs> I was mere pixels away from my 16th egg. I think 16 is my personal best. It might be 17. I think I might have grinded up 17 at some point in the past, but, but 15 is all right. 15 is is passable. It is a passing grade, undeniably. Was there ever any doubt? We win these. Okay. 
I was hoping I was able to put this on directly on my head. Um, this is a bit of a situation. You can just take my axe for me if you want. Uh, I think what I do is I just trash the straw hat because I can buy it from the hat mouse again, right? You can buy, you can buy, I'm, I'm like 90% sure you can buy the straw hat back. Throw it on the ground. Inventory full. <laughs> this is very awkward. Trash the strawberries. Correct hat mouse. Can't you throw it? Yeah, wait. If I throw it on the ground, but I, I can't open up my inventory because I'm in like a cutscene right now. I'm pretty sure you leave immediately after this screen closes. I can buy I can buy it from the hat mouse. Okay. I'm I was so, I was pretty confident in that. We're going to go ahead and trash this straw hat, but it will come back to us. Don't worry about it. All right. It's better than trashing the strawberries for right now. Yeah, see, I'm in a cutscene. I wouldn't have been able to move at all anyway. All right, now we just plant the strawberries. Get them all planted in here. There's gonna be enough slots. I'm honestly, it's, it's close. We got one strawberry seed, are you kidding me? Perfect. I mean, I hold that spot for, for no other reason than to plant a strawberry there, apparently. All right, $87 to my name. Not in love with that. Wait, did my forest sword? Okay, I was, I was, I the first, I couldn't see my forest sword. I was like, did it despawn because of the festival? I was a little concerned for a second there. Might as well go pick up my my sou'wester hat as well. Inventory full. That's my bad. <laughs> that's a bold move, winning and dunking the prize in the trash. So true. Uh, is there time to go do anything else right now? I mean, maybe, but I think we're just going to go ahead and, and call it a night, a night there and continue on tomorrow. All right. Day 13 of spring, already halfway through. It is Haley's birthday today. It's Haley's birthday. I need to go find her a daffodil at the very least. I don't think I'm going to be able to... I mean, there's a chance I could get a coconut from the traveling cart, but I'm not going to rely on that. Let's also check our luck for the day. Queen of Sauce as well, thank you. Bad luck day, you don't love that. So I could probably, I could give something to Haley. Um, cauliflowers are done, that's nice. Let's, let's, and we don't have to water today either, which is also very appreciated. Gold quality parsnips, anybody? No, no gold quality today, alright. We'll check back again tomorrow, don't worry about it. Any specific reason why I picked the beach farm for this challenge? Um, mostly because it's like the biggest farm. And if we're going to be marrying Haley and having a little uh, a little shopping center with her, I think she would want beachfront property for that. Yo! Oh, I thought I thought these were all like gold quality cauliflowers and that's why I couldn't pick them up. Turns out I picked up like the one gold quality cauliflower that, that, that there is probably. Well, I will sell that. And uh, I mean, we only need one just regular quality cauliflower for the there's silver quality. I mean, that's two of them. All right, I'll take it. And then we just save one for the community center, and we can sell the rest. Actually, I could save one for Jody if I wanted to. I could I could toss one on the ground for Jody. Leave her a nice sandy cauliflower for when she inevitably asks for one. But I think this is fine. Gold for the soup. I'm not. I'm not going to save a gold quality cauliflower all the way until the luau. I, ha I hate to break it to you, but this, I don't think that's. A, I don't think that's a wise investment. I will take this to the community center though. Who doesn't love a seaside mall? Exactly. It's a nice little tropical destination spot. Yeah, we won't have access to sprinklers anyway for for a considerable. Actually, I mean, technically, I think don't aren't basic sprinklers. It's only like iron and copper, right? So theoretically, we could make some basic sprinklers. 
I'm pretty sure, because that's two inventory slots, which is the max I can currently have until until the Forge Revolution. Spring Crops bundle complete. Mm, I don't think I need to take this reward right now. It's just a bunch of speed grow. I think I can just leave that. That's fine. The long, the longest scroll of the camera of all time over to the boiler room. All right. What's the Forge Revolution? At the start of the chat, at the start of this stream, I did. I went over my strategy for how to get more inventory space via the Forge on Ginger Island, in order to enable crafting and cooking and all that stuff. I would like a cute girl to bring me an Earth Crystal. That's a weird vibe, Sam. So I'm not going to do it. That's just that's too weird for my for my liking. I'm sorry. Haley is not going to be out of her room for a little while yet, but I will take this daffodil for the time being, just so I don't forget about it. Yeah, if you missed that uh, that strategy involving the forge, then I would I would probably recommend going back and watching that part of the vod because it's a uh, it's a bit of a groundbreaking one. It's, my, it's been my strategy since, you know, the inception of the challenge. It, it should work out, I think, in the long run. And I think, uh... Yeah, I think we're... I think it'll be good. Exclamation point, Haley. What is... What Haley's asking what, do you th what she thinks we sh she should do today. I mean, it's raining, so she's probably just gonna stay in bed all day. What I think she should do... I don't know. Actually, I think she should do whatever she wants to do. At the end of the day. Inventory full. It's just, uh... I'm just gonna get that off the ground, to be honest with you. No littering around these parts. Except I, I am doing a lot more littering in this challenge than I otherwise normally would be. Just leaving a bunch of stuff on the ground. You could also buy sprinklers from the traveling cart. I'm gonna try and minimize my use of the traveling cart in this, uh, challenge. Just because she, she does come into play a lot in other challenges. And I kind of would like a break from her. But it is a good thought. We can technically buy them. And I mean, when when we get, eventually get access to Krobus, we can buy Iridium Sprinklers from him as well. So, When does Haley come out of her room on a rainy day? Probably not until, like, noon or later, I would guess. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead. I'll leave these outside of her door. I'll, I'll leave these outside of her door. I'll leave these outside of her door, is the thing. Okay? And then I'm gonna go buy some more parsnip seeds in order to invest in my gold quality parsnip potentiality. Have a good one there, Allie, or I hope well, we'll see you back soon. Hope you feel better soon. Much love, much, uh, much care to you. Alright, parsnip seeds, they're only 20 a pop. How many should I buy here? Buy like 5, 10, another 15, sure. Just all my money on parsnips. I want the, I want these gold quality parsnips. With this, it should be it should be pretty much set in stone that we get 5 gold quality parsnips. Never say never, but I think this is going to be more than enough, especially with the one gold quality parsnip we already have in order to sort of cheese it. Yeah, I figured she leave, left her room around noon, but thanks for double checking that. Okay, I um, have oh I have some spots because of the cauliflower that all grew. Okay, I only need three more spots. We'll just make it do make do up here. I'll, I'll you know I'll we'll rework this once uh once the farm debris is a little bit more cleared off, which is another thing I sh I actually want to do is I would like to. I want to use, like, a, some of this uh, wood that's on the farm here and probably get our house upgrade as soon as possible so that there's more room in the house for, like, of fish tanks and tables and dressers and stuff. Just more, more storage opportunities in general. I think having a bigger house as soon as possible could be a wise investment. So I might, you know, try and save up the 10,000 I need and then get the wood for the, for the upgrade. That might be, like, on the docket next. All right, we'll give... I mean, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> Emily, it's not your birthday, but I do need to befriend you. But it is Haley's birthday, so there you go. Off to a great rip-roaring start. 
that's not even center. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We don't need it to be centered. What was our luck today? Did I even check it? You know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to go to the mines anyway. Or should I go fishing? Nah, I'm going to go to the mines. That potential to get... I need to get to floor 80 in order to unlock my next inventory slot potentially so let's let's go we, let's just let's start powering through the mines I need to do it I need to be able to get those copper bars I will pick up my sword and I'm gonna hope for the best if, we, if I can make even five floors of progress I'll be happy perfect line <laughs> she said the, the weather's too horrible to get out of bed so true. It's like literally what she says on a rainy day. We got to floor 25 last time, I'm pretty sure, so we're a decent ways through, but it's going to slow down considerably once we reach floors 40 and, I mean, 80, obviously, because we're not going to have... Just having a basic pickaxe for those floors is going to be a bit difficult to manage, but we'll make do. Living hat. Gotta take any chance you can get, right? I just saw so much fiber and I was like, I, I have to take advantage of this opportunity. No, not you. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's just start mining, I guess. The rain, slow, rain slash snow mix here today. Don't they call that wintry mix in some places? Or is that something else? Or like there's like there's various different things you could call that. Is that what sleet is? Like a, like a rain and snow mix. It's like when like it's like frozen rain basically. I've used the word sleet from time to time to describe the weather, but I don't think I know the actual textbook definition of sleet. Call it a mess. <laughs> That's valid. At the end of the day, no matter what you call it, it's going to be the same old slick, nasty, dirty roads. Can't argue with that. Oh, the hardwood. <laughs> hardwood is a pretty precious resource, no matter no matter what. I mean, especially so now, because I'm not going to be able to get it for a little while, at least until we get our copper axe, which could be who knows when. Like the fact that the the fact that I can only get copper bars right now from drops from monsters, and it's only a four percent chance per bar, and I have to get five bars in order to be able to upgrade anything in the first place. It's just such a hilarious turn of events. I I kind of love it, but I'm also like, I don't think I've fully internalized just how gruesome of a grind that could possibly be. Four percent is not like insanely low odds. But when you're killing Shadow Brutes and Shadow Shaman, who are, which are not like necessarily the easiest monsters to kill all the time, and my weapons are going to be pretty lackluster, because I don't want to invest in like a Lava Katana to kill them, and then, you know, have to throw away my Lava Katana in order to pick up the, the Copper Bars. I'm not going to be able to make it through these floors. I don't have, I'm not going to have enough energy. This is not a, this is, was not the day to come to the mines, I'll tell you that. I should have checked my luck again. Approximately 125 kills to get five bars. The, the I mean, the good news is that when we do get the five bars, then we unlock furnaces, basically, which means we unlock all the rest of the bars. And if I'm, as long as I'm smart about it, I should be able to make it work and like never have to grind for metal bar drops again. If I'm smart, and I'm not always the smartest, so we'll see how that goes. Thank you for that. That was extremely clutch ladder placement right there. Alright. Hopefully I have enough energy to get this last ladder. It wasn't looking great back on floor 26, but I'm feeling okay now. Give me a freebie. It'd be even, even better, honestly. Serious question, are you naturally patient? Monty, you must be new around here. Patience is probably... If I were to describe, like, my one 
most defining characteristic, both in, like, video games and just, like, in life in general. I think patience would be a strong contender. I am, I am an extremely patient person. So I'm not too worried about, uh, about getting these monster drops. I'm going to get them one way or another. Okay, this is not looking great. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that was perfect timing on that. Just about literally down to 11 energy. All right, we're going to go ahead and call that there, obviously. Cave carrots for energy. Oh, did, those, did cave carrots drop? I didn't even didn't even register that, honestly. Sorry, right, we made it through to, to floor 30 regardless, so we made some progress at the end of the day. You're casual here? No worries. We love all the casual viewers. Like I, like I say all the time, lurkers are the lifeblood of a stream. Can get some sevens in chat from our lurkers? If you're a lurker, if you just, you know, tend to watch the stream without chatting too much, just, put, just drop a quick little seven in here. Let me know you're here and that you're doing well and that you're, you're enjoying your time. Maybe you're playing a video game yourself. Maybe you're exercising. Maybe you're doing chores. Maybe you're preparing for taxes. It is tax season. But we don't talk about that kind of stuff around here. Look at all those sevens. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Placeholder. Um, C CMN Mystic. Uh, Mizuki. Neon. Kellifer. It's a lurker kind of day. I see. I appreciate it. Creating bro Bo. Rudala. Kelan. Tuna Filet. Nat Natalia. Gwen. David. Goat. We got lots, lots of lurkers in here today. Playing some Stardew. You know, I can respect that. Myra Jade, Dawn Time Cooking Dinner, Liz, Nisa. Yeah. Lurkers, like I said, you know, I, lo I love the chatters. I love interacting with chat, but if you're just lurking, that's the way I tend to enjoy streams as well. So <laughs> no love lost there by any stretch of the imagination. What else can I do today? I mean, it's like 9 p.m. It feels too early to be going to bed. No, I'm going to clear out some of this, some of this fiber. It's just unsightly. It's not like it's going to be super hard to come across fiber later in the challenge when I actually need it. Like, we can grind fiber in the mines. I've done a whole series, well, I've done part of a series where you, where all I can do is collect fiber and sell it, basically. So I'm no stranger to fiber farming strategies. I'd rather clear off the farm of some debris in some capacity here and then just not have to worry about it. It's just unsightly at the end of the day, and part of part of this challenge is going to be aesthetic because obviously we can't have a we can't have a mega mall, which we're going to have at the end of the day, and have it all besmirched by weeds and rocks and sticks and stuff. You definitely know there's going to be a golden clock at the center of that uh, shopping complex. Ooh, we got a uh, got a cheeky little wilderness golem there, living hat. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trash that fiber. I could go back around and, and try to like collect all this fiber again, but I think it might actually just despawn tomorrow. I know the wood did that the other time where I just like left it after after chopping it all down and then like it just was gone the next day, so we'll see. Otherwise I can go back and collect it tomorrow morning. Watched your skill skillless community center vid after a couple of years. Truly an incredible video. Thank you so much, Anthony. That's I greatly appreciate the the kind words. I had a lot of fun with that challenges with that challenge as I do with every challenge, and uh, and this is this is another one that's going to be just as if not even more insanely difficult. Thumbs up if you're in the camp that you think this this Iron Man challenge, the Ultimate Iron Man challenge, is the most ridiculous challenge I've done yet. Thumbs down if you think, you know, Price of Perfection was maybe crazier or the No Level Up challenge. I'm curious. I'd like to, you know, try and one-up myself as I go on. Level 2 farming is kind of pog. But I don't I don't know if this is necessarily a step up from the Price of Perfection or not. I think they're, pr they're on pretty equal... Pr on pretty even keel. 
going for perfection. Oh my god. <laughs> I think a lot of people were surprised when I announced I was going for perfection with this uh, with this rule set. They're like, "How even?" And you know what? It's a it's an understandable take. Ooh, look at all that forage, though. All right, the the weeds are still here. It's salmon berry season. I could go around picking a bunch of salmon berries today. That's a lot of thumbs up I've seen. Oh my gosh. Fiber farm was crazy crazier for its thanklessness. That's true. Fiber fiber farm is a bit of more of a monotonous grind than this one. The Settled of Stardew Valley. I like the sound of that, but I would never compare myself to Settled. He's a, he's a legend. I can only, you know, draw inspiration in whatever whatever little way I can. I think we all honestly just sell all this forage here. There's not really a lot else I could do with it. I mean, run some ideas by me if you think... I'll, I'll, I'll leave it for right now. I'm just going to go around and... Excuse me. Horse sword. You know I love you, but oh, this magnet ring is going to be the death of me. Okay, if I throw it sideways, I think that I've had better luck with that. Yeah, okay, perfect. Go around, pick up the fiber. Pick up some fiber anyway. I don't think I'm going to get all of it. I might as well pick it up and sell it, though, because, I mean, everyone's only worth one gold, but this is going to be probably, like, you know, somewhere around 100 gold at the very least, which is not... Anything to sneeze at, at least this early in the game. Ooh, I, get, I do see an artifact spot down there. What you got for me? A little stone, no thank you. Do items despawn at the end of the day? I've, I've seen them despawn. I swear we had a bunch of wood that despawns at, on the last stream. But it doesn't seem to be, like, a hard and fast rule. It's why I don't like leaving a lot of things on the ground. Number one, it's messy and ugly and, like, just inelegant. And it's not an optimal solution because, obviously, it's not reliable. Especially in the long term because between streams, at the very least, it will despawn. We know that for a fact. And he's waiting so patiently for his water. What a good boy. Just items you don't pick up. Just getting started as a gardener. Most crops only grow in one season. Thank you, Evelyn. But what would I do without you? I will sell... Actually, I'm going to go ahead and double check for our quality parsnips first here. No, no, and no. Okay. Uh, that is a... that That's a cauliflower that's ready to go, though. Don't see a reason not to just sell these green beans as well. Yo, two silver quality green beans? You spoil me. Alright. Oh gosh. <laughs> I, I forgot I had the forest sword there. I just want to pick up the forage if I can. Alright, the forest sword... You're, you silly forest sword, you're going in here. You can keep the table coal company for a little bit. I, oh my gosh. Ooh, this this magnet ring. I gotta get this magnet ring off, honestly. So send that to the ground. Send this to the ground. It's still... <laughs> okay, okay, we made it work. I did it, I did it. Thank you. I can't walk through this forage, so this is a bit of a... It's a little bit of a puzzle trying to trying to pick all this forage. I can only collect one at a time. But I should be able to make it work here. Get the daffodils next. It's a gold star daffodil. Okay, we're going we're gonna to take that. You know what? I could take that and give that to, to somebody. I should probably do that because, I mean, a gold star quality daffodil. They don't come around every day necessarily. You had no idea it wasn't possible to throw standard tools on the ground. I was surprised at how many people didn't know that, honestly. You can't just, like, take your your axe or whatever and throw it on the ground. I guess, like, most of the time you would never have a reason to test that, so you would just assume that you could. But, um... It's not, uh... It's, it's, it's never been a thing you could do. Who has next birthday? I think next birthday after Haley is... Shane, maybe? 
Happy to have you here, Anthony. I'm glad I'm glad that it pops up and you recommend it as well. Alright. We want to get the friendship points here, so have this be your one weekly job, please. Just clean the dang cushions. It's not that hard. Although I've, I can't say I've ever cleaned under the couch cushions, mostly because I think my couch cushions don't come off of my couch. <laughs> it's one of those kind of couches. Uh, I guess I'll give this to Haley. I mean, it was, it was a toss-up between Emily and Haley. I can't reach Emily right now, so lucky you, Haley. Robin could throw her axe. She did lose her axe. It's true, but Rob, Robin rules do not apply to, to Chloe, I'm afraid. Keep on this garbage uh, garbage can grind. The only thing we're really seeking from garbage cans... It would, I mean, there's some things that would probably be nice to get. The main one I can think of is, like, if I can get a copper bar from Flint's Trash, then uh, that would be pretty clutch, obviously, right now. I would still need four more, but it would be... At least it would save me having to get one of the drops. Another cactus fruit? Cactus fruit is not in the... <laughs> Not in the garbage can list right just yet because we haven't unlocked the desert, but I like where your head's at, Gale. Goja Cola. Save that for restoring energy later, maybe. And just trash. Don't trash that. Trash that. There we go. Welcome to the stream, Emmy. You always wife Haley, and apparently that's controversial. You're you're in good company right now, Anthony. We love Haley around here, or at least I love Haley. Uh, I would like it's more real than living in the city, of course. Don't get don't get fooled by the fact that we're gonna marry Emily before we marry Haley on this file. We just need to get Emily's custom made clothes from her 14 heart event, and then we're gonna we're gonna send her packing. We just want the drip at the end of the day. <laughs> it sounds so bad. Maybe it's because it is so bad, but also, like, why does it sound so so horrible? Um, just toss the Joja Cola, honestly. Not worth it. Can't reach that other daffodil over there, so we're going to go ahead and sell these. Marrying Emily for Haley reasons. Literally true. Okay, that's all the dandelions I can reach. I didn't. I did not foresee this being a, a little thing I have to do. I have to solve a little forge Sudoku type of thing. Not even Sudoku, but you know, <laughs> the only puzzle I could think of off the top of my head. What's your favorite puzzle? Not like puzzle game, as in like, you know, one of those like action-adventure puzzle games like it, it Takes Two, like I'm going to play with Charlie Barley on Thursday. Always be plugging. But just like, you know, like Sudoku, Jigsaw puzzles, there's some good puzzles out there. There's, what's that? There's like Trees and Tents, that's one that I've played before that I like. You got the like Dots and Boxes. Spider Solitaire goes pretty hard. I always saw that on my computer as a kid. Like, I would go on and play... Uh, mo almost, mostly, I would not play Solitaire. I'd play either Minesweeper or 3D Space Pinball. But I did see Spider Solitaire on there, and I tried to play it, and it intimidated me so much that I just, like, quit and never played again. I still don't know the rules of Spider Solitaire to this day and how they differentiate it from just, like, regular Solitaire. Minesweeper is always fun. Minesweeper is ab absolutely a timeless classic. There's one game that's, like, based on Minesweeper called, like, Demon Crawl, I think, that came out on Steam a few years back. And I love that game. I played I played it for, for quite a while, just, like, on my own time. It's like, a nice blend of the roguelike formula and Minesweeper, and it's got a, it's got a few other things going for it as well. It's, it's just a very cool, fun vibe. Is that... What is this? That's a leak. Okay. I was going to say, that's not a parsnip, so <laughs> it had to be something else. You like nonograms? Is that uh, pie cross? I feel like they're the same thing. 
If so, I'm right there with you. I actually have, like, one of the, like, most... I don't boot up my, my Switch all that often anymore, mostly because I don't have time. But when I do have a little time and I just want, like, a fun little casual game to play, I'll boot up my Switch. I got, like, a, a Pycross game on there that I, uh, that I'll play from time to time, and it's, uh... It's a good, relaxing, therapeutic experience. Bejeweled goes kind of hard. I would count that as a puzzle game. I haven't played much Bejeweled, but I've played it enough to know that it's, uh, it's definitely a puzzle game. Okay, that's good right now. Wait, is that a... Yeah, that's not fully grown yet. Okay. I guess with the rest of the day, I could probably just go around and collect salmon berries. I don't think... Actually, you know what? It might be a good idea to collect the salmon berries and use them to try and get through the mines, either tomorrow or on a subsequent day, if I can just, like, hoard some, some salmon berries for the time being. I would have to forego the use of the forest sword, which would be a bit of a bummer, but I think I can probably make more progress if I have a steady supply of energy and just like try to avoid the monsters rather than confronting them with the sword. I think I think that's kind of the strategy for getting through the mines with this setup. The gug has arrived. Peggle, I didn't even see I didn't see even see you in here while gug. Hello by the way. <laughs> I've I've not played Peggle. I've seen Peggle played though. And I can see, oh, you know what? I think I have played Peggle because I played the roguelike called Peglin. Which is where you play as a little goblin dude, and you th and like you go through like peggle type le type of levels. And you know what? I can't say I didn't have a good time. That was a, it's a very fun experience. Y'all remember Chuzzle? I can't say I've, I've ever known a game called Chuzzle. What I do remember is going to my gran grandma's house and playing uh, Bookworm Deluxe. That's a that's a banger of a puzzle game. I don't even know if it's, like, available anywhere anymore. Like, I've, I feel like I've looked it up. Peglin was very fun to watch. I agree with that. I watched, I think, uh, I watched Northern Lion and Dan Giesling play it for quite a bit when it was, uh, when it was popular, when it first came out. Yeah, I feel like I've looked it up, Bookworm Deluxe, and tried to find it, and I've, I've found other Bookworm games, but I've never found the one that was, like, uh... At least when I first went looking for it, I couldn't. I could not find it. I'm just getting rid of all that because it's in my way. Two zettle. Chuzzles are like fuzzy pom poms with eyes that you match together. They're like it's like a Furby puzzle game. Anyone ever have a Furby, if we're talking about, like, nostalgic throwbacks? I think I did have a Furby. I had a Furby and a Tamagotchi back when I was really young. I kind of wish I still had them. But as is the as is the case with many toys from back when you're that young, they don't survive the, the move a lot of the time. <laughs> you outgrow them, and you don't think it's, like, 20 years in the future when you're like, you know, I'll probably want to think back fondly and, you know, reminisce with my little Furby friend. You don't have that kind of capacity for long-term planning when you're a wee tot. You have like 20 working Furbies? Oh my gosh, we found we found the, the Furby collector. Straw Hat is available for purchase. I just wanted to confirm that for myself. I was pretty confident that we would still be able to get that even though we trashed it at the Egg Festival, but... Um... Okay, lost book. Good to get it out of the way. That one's for you, Gug. I know how much you love lost books. Furbies are cursed. I don't I think I like I like Furbies. I can see how people would see that they're cursed, but I personally like think they're kind of cute. If we're talking about that like spaghetti Furby that was going around a little while back, or like the, was it was it spaghetti or was it like ravioli? I don't know. It was a very it was a very sauce-based Furby. Like sauce and pasta covered Furby, and I was like, I'm not, I'm not here for that. That kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies, but it is, uh, <laughs> it it was a smart meme. Long Furby. 
like a Furby snake. Honestly, that sounds kind of cool. I could see myself snuggling up with a little Furby snake. Like a snake bird plush. Baked beans! That was the Furby that was going around. The baked bean Furby. Don't look that up. Don't Google that. Of course, I say that knowing full well that the best way to get someone to Google something is to tell them not to Google it. Hopefully there's a few more salmon berries up in the mountains here, and then we'll see about... Uh, and we'll probably just head off to bed. Hank Green's Bean Furby. Was that a Hank Green thing? Did he make the Bean Furby? Was he, was he the progenitor of baked Bean Furbies? Seems like kind of a Hank thing to do, honestly. Always thought the Furbies were a bit creepy. It's something about the eyes, right? That's what most people most people are freaked out by. The eyes and probably the voice too. Like the Furbies, how they talk to you. I don't doubt that there's a that there's a subset of creepy pastas based around Furbies coming to life and like killing you. It wasn't there like a there's like an indie horror game based around that or something, like a Furby adjacent kind of creature. Ooh, living hat potential. Hold on. Wait, I don't have my force sword on me. I'll just have to use the scythe. That's okay. That's just a piece of fiber, not a living hat. But you always gotta check. The eyes are very unsettling. During the project for Awesome Stream last year, for the oh, during the project for Awesome Stream, I I, I misread the cadence on that one. Uh, Hank Green had it. He had the baked bean Furby during the Project for Awesome stream. What the heck did I miss? <laughs> okay. We are gonna go to bed. And hopefully have a good luck day tomorrow so we can go to the mines. What did I- what achievement did I get? That's level 2 foraging, which is nice. Thank you, Power Raptor. It kind of snuck up on me, honestly. I don't pay attention to my sub count all that much, so uh, anytime people are congratulating me for a sub goal, I'm like, oh yeah, that did happen. <laughs> Cattletail was the game. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Greenhorn, 15k, not bad. Alright, spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed. I guess we don't go to the mines today then, probably. Thanks for that. That was one of my strawberries, probably, I'm going to assume. All right, we're going to go ahead and store. I hope you are feeling settled into your new home. Fertilizer. Yeah, I'm not going to do that, Pierre, but thank you, I guess. TLDR. Don't want to talk to Pierre. At urchin percent. <laughs> How crazy is it now that the, the like the strategy for world record hat urchin percent is get is to get a living hat. <laughs> Like it's so that's that's absolutely wild. Still no gold quality parsnips. Just a just a swift swift kick in the pants. Please pet the table coal. It's a piece of coal. I mean I'm I'm willing to I'm willing to let it ride for right now, but I'm not gonna go pet the piece of coal. When we got a living, breathing Timby right here, you're, you want me to go? You want me to go in here and pet the coal? You want me to sit here and tell the coal that I love it? Whisper sweet nothings into its porous outer rocky texture? I don't think so. Chloe is above that. In before, there's fan fiction of of Chloe and the table goal. I can't, I can't even say it in jest because someone would actually do it. Bit of a mess of a farm right now, but we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. I could go buy more seeds today, but I do think the play right now is to actually save up my money for the house upgrade. Save up the money. Once we get to 10k, we go get um, we go get 450 wood, 
and then we were chilling. We got a lot of house space. Chloe X table coal enemies to lovers. Ooh, I do I do love a good enemies to lovers Vic. You got me there. Candace, thank you very much for the 199 super chat. Chat has a pair of coal shoulder relationship going on. Bit of a stretch, but you know what? I'm here for it. I appreciate the I appreciate you going for the pun. Paracultural relationship. <laughs> oh my gosh. People love the table coal. I don't know what it is. There's something compelling about a piece of coal on a table, apparently. You know what I am going to do today? I want to go around collecting more salmon berries, I think. If I'm not going to go to the mines, I might as well at least do that. At least start with it. But I'm going to... Um, I need to store my salmon berries first. I want to take that cockle over to the community center. Make a little more progress with the grab pot bundle here. It's an icon. Table coal percent. <laughs> now we're just getting crazy. How fast can you get a piece of coal and put it on your table in Stardew Valley? Is it any more? Is it any more or less of a meme than hat than like hat mouse percent? I think hat mouse percent is probably better because you can. There's a little bit more strategy involved there. Table coal percent would just be like you go try. You go mine the first rock you see outside. If you don't get a piece of coal from it, you reset. That's the strategy. <laughs> Welcome in, Alex. Haven't missed too much yet. We're about to go drop off this uh, cockle at the community center. Crab pot bundle well underway, and then I'll probably continue with uh, more salmon berry harvesting today. I mean, at the very beginning of the stream, you probably missed the biggest advent in the in the history of the Iron Ultimate Iron Man challenge. I unveiled my, my crafting and cooking strategy, but that's not going to come into play for a long time. Not until we reach the forge on Ginger Island. Mine rocks on farm for coal. What a run. What a rush, man. What do you think the world record for table coal percent would be, provided it was an actual speedrun category? You could definitely get it like sub 30 seconds for sure. Oh my gosh, look, what the heck is this for? It's all in the same line. What the heck? <laughs> Twilight Zone music plays. Wait, what? Did I miss that? I mean, I, obviously, like, people file in at their, at their own speed throughout the, throughout the stream, so it's highly probable that most people who are here right now were not, uh, did not bear witness to that strategy at the very start of the stream when I went over it. All I can tell you is probably just go back and watch that part of the stream. Basically, it involves, you know, managing your inventory in a specific way in order to let you drop tools on the ground at the forge in order to free up spots. Basically, parsnip percent minus the watering. It's just like a different incarnation of parsnip percent. You're absolutely right. 17 seconds, 13 seconds, 10 seconds, yeah. Kind of where my head's at, too. Clay, no thank. Actually, no, I was going to say I could take this clay and sell it to Robin right here, but she is at aerobics. Tell Blade about table coal percent. Smash cut to five years from now when Summoning Salt posts a table coal percent world record history video. Never going to happen. There's not enough meat on the bone, even if it did become a very popular speedrun category. There's just there's just not enough to discuss there. Table hole, man. Welcome back, Bex. Did I check my garbages today? I did not check the garbages today. Can't be forgetting that. One, we only need one garbage hat, and then we don't really have to check the garbages anymore after that. I probably still will, at least from time to time. But I need to grind out that garbage hat, because if I'm... I mean, the garbage hat, I got so many of them during the Price of Perfection, I would be very sad if that was, like, one of the things I was missing 
when push came to shove at the end of the challenge and I had to just grind a bunch of garbages. I'm no stranger to it, but I don't want to have to grind another 5,000 garbages for an item that I need. I'm just going to say that right now. Didn't I get two garbage hats in a row during the Price of Perfection? I don't remember if I did. I just remember getting a lot of them. <laughs> Which makes sense. I mean, I did search literally for 5,000 trash cans, just about. A little less than 5,000, but it's the, it's the principle. It's easier to say 5,000 than like 4,712 or whatever the number was. Exclamation point trash? Or is it exclamation point cactus fruit? I don't remember. The, the command should still be there, but... I got over seven. I got like seven or eight total, but I don't know if I ever got them like be from back to back trash cans. That sounds like absolutely insane if that did happen. Any forge on the beach right now? I'm pretty sure I've already gotten the oyster for the um for the crab pot bundle, right? Yeah. Are these crab pot bundle? They are. Okay, so I should take one of those at least. I'll say I'll save that one down there for the crab pot bundle. We'll probably come back for that. Artifact spot spot near Clint. Thank you. If it's an artifact, then I mean that's an easy trip to the museum at the very least. Four thousand seven hundred and seventy-eight trash cans for that cactus fruit. Orn, you believe it? Hold on. I want to go sell this too. Before Willy closes in about 20 minutes. That's a weird spot for a seagull. <laughs> I don't know if that makes physical sense, but you know what? Who am I to harsh the seagull's mellow? He's gone now anyway. How will you fish? Exclamation point FAQ. We got we got plans for just about everything. At least I hope we got plans for everything. At least for all, like, the most, like, crazy important stuff. What was I going for? I was going for the artifact spot near Clint's. Then we'll head over to Cindersap Forest for more salmon berries. Do seagulls make physical sense? I mean, they, they're, they're, I, they're not by the sea a lot of the time. Like, I have, we have seagulls around here. That was a clutch artifact spot. Thank you to whoever mentioned that. That was, uh, Yolande Wong. Thank you very much. Like, I'm about as far from the sea as you can get in, like, continental North America. <laughs> and, uh, and they're still here. They're not, like, mountain gulls. They just hang out in the parking lots. The rats of the sky. Or, like, pigeons, the rats of the sky. I don't know. No worries, Yolanda. I'm glad we could help each other out. This run is more true to life, realistic in a way that AAA in industry won't touch. Yeah, I mean, uh, my pockets, I only have one slot in my pocket. Honestly, even, even this, even with how restricted this challenge is as far as, like, inventory space goes, it's not the most realistic you could get. You could restrict it so you can only hold one item at a time, not like a stack of items, and that would be like the most realistic. Cause real, cause I mean, realistically, I'm not fitting 40 berries in my pockets. Well, I guess maybe you could, depending on the size of the berries. You know what I should do? I should invoke for the because we got one more day of salmonberry harvesting coming up. Uh, get rid of this fiber; it's absolutely unsightly. For the last day of Sandberry harvesting, I should invoke the, the blade strategy of resetting the day and then going to harvest salmon berries because you get, like, way more berry, berry bushes if you do that, I think. Just because of how the game spawns them. It's a backpack, though, not a pocket. You know what? That's valid. Or is it a... Are they my pockets because I don't have a backpack upgrade yet? 
That is the ultimate question. Is Are the backpack upgrades at Pierre's, like, is the first one, like, your first backpack, or is it an upgrade to your existing backpack that you just come with naturally as a, as a citizen, you know, your standard issue backpack? Get the backpack upgrade. Kind of goes against the rules of the challenge, but... <laughs> We got two rules to this challenge, and we can't, and we're, and that goes against one of them, so. Then delete the slots. Oh, I see where you're coming from. No, I'd rather just leave the backpack to, to fester and get dusty on Pierre's shop, on his shop counter. You know, eventually we'll walk in and it'll be all moth eaten and stuff, and we'll feel justified in never having purchased it. This is like, look at that gross backpack. I, would, I don't want that on my back. Ew. Yeah, it'll be like, you, it would have been great if you bought it 50 years ago or however long this challenge takes. I don't think it's going to take 50 in-game years, but... Uh, I mean... <laughs> maybe that's wishful thinking. Combo fanny pack slash tool belt. It, it definitely is a tool belt. <laughs> in, especially in this challenge. Some fiber here. Alright, I think that's good. I got a little bit of time left. I'm gonna run run my little little Chloe feet off and go try and grab that clam and bring it to the crab pot bundle. And then I, I should have plenty of time to get back and pick up my sand berries again. You just prefer to think of the player having magically enormous pockets. Don't they call it, it's called like hammer space or something, right? There's probably like a TV tropes page for that. Based around like is it is it literally because like like MC Hammer's pants are so big? That's why they call it hammer space. That's where my mind always goes, because MC Hammer had like the parachute pants, right? That were and they just got so much space in them. But I'm like, there's no way it's that silly of a reason. Then again, it's the internet. Can't have a shopping complex without bags to sell. We're going to be the, the world's first bagless shopping complex. We don't even have reusable bags because those are still bad for the environment, I think, as far as like ma the manufacturing process goes. We just don't uh, just don't bother with any of that stuff. You're back from seeing the strategy, Simber. I'm glad you I'm glad you liked it. Bag of holding like D and D, the most logical solution, honestly. Although even the bag of holding has its limits in D and D. It's like a certain amount of space or pounds or something. It's like an absolutely metric like ton of it. Not maybe not literally a metric ton, but it's it's a lot. All right. Off to bed with me. Good night, Table Cole. And Tim Beam. <laughs> Probably should reverse the order of how I say that, right? All right. Is it against the rules of the challenge to store items on signs? Clawtooth, common misconception. You don't store items on signs. When you put an item on a sign, it just puts a picture of the item on that sign. It does not put the item itself on the sign. So the closest we can really get to that is storing an item on a table. I am going to go ahead. I'm going to exit to... Oh, wait. No, I don't want to exit the title, right? I don't want to lose my stuff on the ground here. Hold on. I was going to exit the title to get more salmon berries, but I realize now that that would be a mistake because I would lose either the forest sword or... Yeah, no, I can't do that. I would lose the Forest Sword, the Sand Berries. I could take I could take the Magnet Ring. I would lose one of them. I guess we'll just go with the we'll just we'll just we'll just go with you know the, just the normal Sand Berry strategy. That's fine. <laughs> Yo, five hundred gold from Dad is not bad though. If we could put items on signs, that would be awesome. Don't get me wrong, I'd be, I'd be all here for it. But such is not the world we live in. What are these three cursed strawberries over here? 
Uh, I don't, I don't have to worry about clicking that because I don't have space to pick it up anyway. Is there any way to remove the scythe? I'm pretty sure the answer to that is no. The forge strategy could allow us to drop every tool except the scythe, I'm pretty sure. The scythe is with us in perpetuity. There will never ever be a situation where we are without our scythe, and you can you can quote me on that one. Some tools come and some tools go. The scythe is here forever. Okay. Water Timbeeb and Pet Timbeeb. He's a good boy. Let's go ahead and check for our quality parsnips. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. I think tomorrow might be our uh, our parsnips will have fully grown, either tomorrow or the next day. And we'll have a lot more chances for gold quality parsnips, which is nice. I think the worst part about getting a gold quality parsnip, I mean, it'll be exciting when it does happen again, but then we won't be able to store them on the table anymore because the table can only store one parsnip, so we're going to have to get a little more creative than that. What's my luck like today? I should invest in getting further in the mines if it's a good luck day. Bad luck day. Bad luck, Brian. The specter washes up over us again. I forgot to water this single parsnip right here. That's my bad. Thank you, thank you. Watering can would be a good tool not to have to use ever, but you just but just can't use the beach. <laughs> it's true, honestly, yeah. I mean, if we eventually like migrate our main farm as far as like crops and stuff go over to Ginger Island. We can use sprinklers on Ginger Island, which will be nice. And then the watering can. Well, the watering can we will still need in order to do, like, volcano dungeon runs and stuff. For, like, uh, mermaid boots and the various rings and things you can get out of them. But once we're done with that, in theory, we don't need the watering can for too much anymore. We'll need a Chloe dab emote. No golden scythe. If I could, if I only could, I would go to the quarry mine and trade my regular scythe for the golden scythe. If that was the way it went, we pulled like a little Indiana Jones type switcheroo and put the our regular scythe on the statue in place of the golden scythe. That would be awesome. But unfortunately, the golden scythe is just going to have to be a treasure that we can never claim. Or we claim it at the very end of the challenge, when everything is finally said and done, and just lock our inventory, never to be never to be changed around again. Why are we at the beach? Because Haley's gonna want beachfront property for her for her shopping complex. We all know Haley loves the beach, and I mean she is one of the. She is one of the primary goals of this challenge, is, is to please her at the end of the day. Don't worry about it, Jody. And the beach is very big as well, so we have a lot of room for activities like uh, building our petting zoo and aquarium and our various little shopping centers. It's going to be a fun time. When we actually get to that stage of the challenge and have the, the capital and resources, well, <laughs> will we really have the resources that's for you to be the judge of? I'm not going to have them in chests, I'll tell you that much. But the resources will be at least available to me. That's going to be a fun part of the challenge when we finally do get there. Alright. Do one more salmon berry roundup in Cinder Sap Forest, and then that'll probably be it for salmon berries. Figure out what we're doing after that uh, 
next. I was going to go buy some more seeds from Pierre, potentially, but it is Wednesday, my dudes. So that's going to be a no-go today. I could always do more clay farming if there's time left in the day after the Sandberry Roundup. Which tool gets upgraded first? I'm not, honestly not sure what tool I should send in for an upgrade first. Because you got to think, right? Whichever tool we send in for an upgrade first, we're probably not going to go back to pick it up for a while. So it should be whichever tool we get the least value out of and that we won't need for like other things in the immediate future. Watering can... I mean, we need the watering can right now in order to water crops and stuff and to and to keep watering Timbeeb, which is the ob arguably the more important thing. Um, the hoe, we also need for farming, in theory. And for, like, artifact spots and stuff. But we could probably make do without the hoe if we needed to for at least a little while, depending on when we send it in for an upgrade. The axe... I mean, not being able to get wood from trees and stuff, or like clear out uh, like sticks and things, would be pretty annoying. But it might it might end up having to be the axe. It's hard to say. The pickaxe, I don't think it is an option because I want the pickaxe to be able to go and get like copper ore and stuff. I mean, I could always no, I actually can't buy the copper ore. Oh no, I'd have to buy the copper ore before even going to like to send my pickaxe for an upgrade because you can't buy stuff from Clint when your tool is, like, in upgrade status, right? So, yeah, I don't think it's going to be the pickaxe. If I had to if I had to call it right now, I'd probably say Copper Axe is going to be our first one, which is, is fitting. But we'll see what happens when, when the actual moment arrives. Who knows when we're even going to get the chance for our first uh, upgrade, to be honest with you. We can hoe with bombs, too. We can also mine with bombs, in theory. Bombs are, are, are a potential solution to a lot of problems. Alright, we're going to go ahead and toss the sandberries for right now, just so I can go and clear out... This little section here. Hey there, no cap. Missed a fiber. I got you. How mad would you be if I went and upgraded my trash can first, though? And just like, you know... <laughs> Don't free up the inventory slot at all. Just go and up, just make everybody as mad as possible. I want to upgrade my trash can eventually because we're tossing so much stuff anyway. But I don't think it'll be our first upgrade at at, at by at this rate, honestly. Okay. I think that is it, effectively, for salmon berries. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, we got one last little salmon berry hiding over here. Sneaky salmon berry. 77 total. I'll take it. We do have some time left in the day. I might as well use that to go clay farming. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and eat some of these salmon berries. Because I hate to break it to you, but there's a decent chance that a lot of these sand berries do get trashed at the end of the day or sold or something. I'm not sure exactly what. For right now, we're just going to go ahead and use them for energy. And then I'm going to go to do some clay farming. Ooh, sand berry. <laughs> All right, I guess I forgot to check this area. Before I clay farm, I might as well clear out this forge here. This is just a lot of money waiting to be had. I should hydrate, thank you for the for the reminder. I've been doing a lot of talking today. I always forget how much talking is involved in uh Hold on, let me keep that. No, I don't I can't keep these because I have to go get the forge. I always forget how much talking is involved in the start of a new challenge when you're like explaining the stuff and the, all the rules and things. Like after yesterday's stream, I was like, man, my throat is parched. 
And I was like drinking throughout the stream and everything. I was I was trying to hydrate as best I could. But I haven't done that much talking on a stream and at least not in such uh <laughs> such quick bursts in a very long time. We do the the sacred shipping dance. There we go, just gotta juggle them appropriately and we're good. Don't, it's, it's another, it's a different quality dandelion. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh gosh. I cannot wait. To, I'm telling you right now, I cannot wait to get the, that forager perk, the botanist perk that makes all of the forageables iridium quality. Make them all stackable in a single slot every single time. It's going to be possibly the greatest upgrade we've ever seen. All right, let me go get my. I guess I. I might. I, there's no reason to put the sandberries back in there for right now. I'll just leave them on the ground. That's fine. I won't have time for clay farming yet. Now, yeah, but I mean, the forge is still making us money at the end of the day. And I got. I can always clay farm tomorrow. Such a goaded upgrade, even in vanilla games. It's true. Do me a favor, next time you're playing Stardew Valley casually, and you're like going through Skull Cavern or whatever, and you're lamenting the fact that you don't have enough space in your uh in your 36 slot backpack where you don't even have all five of your tools, and you're like, man, I want to pick up this uh diamond or whatever, but I don't have any what am I gonna throw out for this diamond? Oh man, I don't know. When when that situation comes up again and you know it inevitably will, pour one out for for our girl Chloe here on Iron Man Farm. <laughs> Oh, welcome back in, by the way, Karita. I didn't see you pop back in, but I think you've been here for for a hot minute. I hope your your birthday dinner was nice. We can do a little. I mean, there's there's a chance we can get some clay farming in. It depends on how how nice the clay pattern is to me today. Ooh, there's some clay right there. Look at that. You said I wouldn't get any clay farming done. I got two clay right there. What do you call that? I get a clay nice and early here, I could get at least a few, and that's better than nothing. The shorter toolbar is very claustrophobic. But it's a better it's a better visualization of what the challenge is all about. The challenge is like claustrophobia the challenge, at least as far as inventory management goes. It's funny, I kinda have claustrophobia in real life. Not like it's not like a extremely debilitating thing for me. Like, I think I I think I handle enclosed spaces worse than the average person, but not so bad that it's actual claustrophobia. But when it comes to video games, honestly, like, I don't really mind having a small inventory. It's honestly kind of a boon in some ways at certain times. Because, like, when you have so many chests and so much inventory space and so many different little things to manage and try and remember where they are and try and organize them, don't get me wrong, when you when you stumble into a good organizational pattern and, you know, have a good amount of chests and it's all very neatly organized, that's satisfying in its own way. But there's something equally satisfying to me about just having an extremely limited amount of space to do, to do things and making the most of it and... Being able to look at it and be like, that is my whole life right now. There's something about that that I really love. I'll get that artifact spot, by the way. I do see it, but I, I won't get it until I'm done with the clay farming, because I don't want to mess up the pattern too much here. I think once I finish these couple rows, I will hit that artifact spot, and then we'll head back to uh, head back to bed. Lost book? I'll take it. Interesting how we use claustrophobic as a general adjective rather than a personality trait. You're right, I mean, that's that's actually kind of true. We don't really say, like, arachnophobic. 
claustrophobic is a lot more common of a word. It's an interesting observation. I mean, I'm all about the etymology and and linguistic stuff around here. I find it very fascinating. All right, we sell that clay, we pick up our salmon berries, and we go to bed. Easy as that. Good amount of money, honest. Almost, almost two thousand. We're we're closing in on our ten thousand dollar goal. Once we get there, I think we farm up that four hundred fifty wood, and we actually just go for the house upgrade. I don't see a reason not to. Good luck day. I think we take that opportunity once after I've watered all my crops. Thanks for that. I will um, take that opportunity to go through the mines. And hopefully, if I get to, like, floor 40, that would be awesome. Even if I could just get to, like, floor, like, 30, 35. Ooh, gold quality parsnip alert. Okay. Three gold quality parsnips. Four gold quality parsnips. You're really going to do me like that? One more, and I could have put these Sons of Guns right in the community center. Oh, no. Okay. Welcome back in, Allie. All right. Four gold quality parsnips. I guess I probably just... I mean, I could throw them on the ground for right now. I mean, hold on. First, let's, let's take care of business properly here. Throw them on the ground just so I can get these green beans. And uh, hold on, don't get rid of the sand berries. Okay, we gotta do, gotta do our little juggling routine here. Throw, I don't even have my magnet ring on. Throw the green beans, get the sand berries. Throw the sand berries, get the green beans. Sell the green beans, get the parsnips, get the parsnips. Store the parsnips in the shipping bin. Take the sand berries, water the crops, go to the mines. I got it. I got it all under lock and key. We just gotta make sure not to actually sell those parsnips. They're just they're just in storage for right now. They're in limbo, and I have to make sure I don't forget about them when I come back from the mines. Okay, we don't need to water those because those are all fully grown parsnips. Perfect. Okay. Like, I think that's everything water, because everything else is all fully grown. This seems oddly familiar. Right side, we do have this table cleared up for something if we if we want that. Do we want to give Table Cool a little sunshine? Nah, we do, I think Table Cool is fine where he is. You know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to... I, I kind of want want to get a straw hat, and I could put this sou'wester hat on the table, and then I could uh, go get that. But I could also just get a dresser, which is probably the better idea. I think focus on the task at hand right now. Just let's let's get let's get things out un, out of the way as far as like the house upgrade goes, and then we can look at other things to spend our money on. Why no scarecrow? Because we don't are not able to craft a scarecrow because we don't have enough inventory slots. The most that it could get is two. I need three to craft a scarecrow. So I'm not going to be able to craft a scarecrow until Ginger Island at the very earliest. <laughs> can I put a fish on the table? I could, but I can also put the fish in my fish tanks. There's nothing in the, in the fish tanks for right now. All right. I am going to... I don't need the magnet ring or anything. I'm going to go to the mines. I'll do my garbage run, and then I'll go to the mines. Don't salmon berries sell for one gold each? I think they sell for a bit more than that. Wait, it's still salmon berry season? I thought salmon berry season was over. I'm still... I mean, I'm probably still not gonna go... I'm still gonna go to the mines. I want to take advantage of the good luck day. Why didn't I buy a scarecrow? I haven't had the chance yet. The first scarecrow you can buy is from the flower dance, if I'm not mistaken. We just haven't made it there yet. Rest assured, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I should actually remember to do that to save money for the flower dance. Um, or for the rare crow at the flower dance. How much is it? It's like 2500 That sounds about right. I should make sure I don't blow all my money before the flower dance. Because I need to make sure to do that. 
There's also the tub of flowers recipe, but I can get that on a subsequent year or two. Looking for catfish to eat in front of the TV. Linus, you don't have a TV. Can someone check in on Linus? Is he okay? My man is uh has been out in the woods for a little too long. If it rains tomorrow, maybe I can take care of that. That's I mean, 600 gold is not bad, but... <laughs> He's a catfish to eat in front of the TV. Never thought... I, th I thought there would be, like, special code in place to make sure Linus can never say that on... <laughs> on the bulletin board there. He watches his TV through George and Evelyn's window. Hey, free cable. Literally breaking and entering to watch Pam's TV. No, nah, Linus is, he's, I mean, he's, you know, he'll steal from your trash can, but he's not gonna, he's not gonna break and enter, probably. What are the rules of the challenge? Welcome in, Emily! F exclamation point FAQ for, for all the rules and breakdown of uh, any frequently asked questions you might need. He imagines the channels in his head. I mean, that doesn't sound too far off from what I did as a kid. Prehistoric skull, I've already actually gotten this one, right? This is definitely a mammalian skull, in case you were wondering. We'll just leave that there for now, I guess. Just, just leave a random skull on the ground for someone to stumble across later. Alright. Down we go. Through the We're going into the dark floors of the mines. Get ready. And we don't have a weapon either, so... Yikes. No weapon, no glow ring. Just 80 salmon berries in a dream. We technically have a weapon if you if you want to count the scythe. But I don't think I'm going to take the time to kill anything with it unless it happens to be a bug that dies in one hit. Which I don't think even show up in this level of the mines. Go two damage with the pickaxe. Let's go. This bat is not going to step to me. I'm just try I just got to try and juke him. Please, my staircase. A single morsel of a staircase. Please. I can't I can't see a dang thing. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I'll salmon berry up a little bit here. Level 40 is going to get painful with it rocks being 3 hits. Yeah, I usually try to have a p copper pickaxe by uh, by floor 40. Obviously, not really an option here. <laughs> and honestly, probably we're probably going to have to go a little bit past floor 80 in order to, like, farm Shadow Brutes a bit more efficiently for the copper bar drops. Probably going to... I feel like getting at least to floor 85 would be a, would be a good idea. But I don't, I don't. How many hits does a does a rock take with a basic pickaxe at floor eighty? Like five hits. That's gonna be kind of nightmarish if that's the case. You. Ooh, a little star-shaped floor. Oh, there are bugs down here. Nice. Is it cheating to turn your brightness way up on these levels? I don't think so. I think the game is cheating you out of a fun experience by putting darkness on these levels. So you know what? All's fair in, in love and dark levels. Please. Please, my staircase? My staircase, I'm missing that four sword a little bit right about now, but you know what the salmon berries are doing are doing their work. Speaking of, probably want to invest in that. Thank you very much, no cap, for uh, for voting for me in the Stardew Awards. Exclamation point awards. There's still quite a few days left to vote if you haven't voted for your favorite content creators in the awards coming up. Please do so going to be an awesome way to celebrate the Stardew community at large and support lots of lots of creators who don't otherwise typically get a spotlight or anything like that. 
very much looking forward to it. Thank you for that ladder. I'm going to check that crate over there real quick. Also see this barrel here. Just on the off chance that I get, you know, some kind of special thing out of it. Otherwise, I am Audi. All right, floor 40, I think, is probably doable here. I just got to buckle down and focus. Yes, yeah, so vote for the mod team. If if I mean I'm never I'm never gonna ask you to vote for me in the awards. If you do, I'm gonna be very flattered and humbled. But one of the awards we're up for is best mod team, and I mean I might be slightly biased, but I think we got the the best mod team and best community in general on YouTube around here. So definitely to throw your vote their way, if if nothing else. Oh, there's a staircase. Perfect. They do amazing work, and they're just amazing people. Go floor 40 incoming, I think. We're not going to pick up that coal, obviously. I might be the first person in Stardew history to skip these coal trucks. Just don't have the space for them. <laughs> Like, I feel like most people that get to this point, even if they were out of space in their backpack, they would, like, throw out whatever nonsense they have in there, like slime or sap or something to get the coal. The coal is a very valuable resource. Alright, please. Yeah, thank you. Perfect. Alright. Floor 40. This is the slingshot, right? We do have remixed bundles on. Or re not remixed bundles, sorry, but remixed mine rewards. Take a quick hydration break here. But this is the slingshot, I'm pretty sure, no matter what. I think we leave this chest here. I mean, the slingshot, the basic slingshot is never going to be useful. I think I can trash it though, right? I can I can just trash the basic sling, slingshot. It's not like an undeletable tool. It's like a weapon. And I'm pretty sure you can buy it back from the Adventurer's Guild if you really want to. I'll leave it for right now. See if I can get even further in the mines here. But... Good to remember that it's there. All right, now welcome to <laughs> welcome to the true grind. Getting to floor forty was its own little beast. Getting from floor forty to any other floor is gonna be, ooh, I mean maybe not that bad. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the slingshot is trashable. I'm like eighty percent confident of that. Omni Geode kind of looking looking spicy. Not gonna lie to you. All right, I'll take that staircase, but I also want to check these. Frozen Geode would have been nice in a different time, but not right now. The slingshot used to be undeletable, but you think it's not anymore? Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly confident you can actually just buy another copy of it from the Adventurer's Guild if you lose yours. Don't necessarily quote me on that. I'm not that confident, but it seems like that's like one of those random tidbits of Stardew knowledge that's embedded in my brain from having done research for so many challenges and for like Stardew Jeopardy and stuff. So I, I, there's no sense. I mean, even if it's not deletable or even if it is deletable either way, there's no sense in taking it right now. Worst case scenario is that it is not deletable and I would have to like reset the day <laughs> because it would be a soft block effectively you can buy it for 500 gold thank you Allie I figured as much and I think the, the, the exact same thing is true of the master slingshot it's probably just more expensive at the adventurers guild but I'm pretty sure it is still purchase purchasable I kind of wish the Galaxy Slingshot was in the game. I don't know what it would have been. There's like a there's an entry for it on the wiki, or at least it's like mentioned in the weapons page on the wiki, like the Galaxy Slingshot, like the the final form of the Slingshot. I don't know necessarily how good it would have been, but maybe it would have been the Slingshot made the Slingshot you know 
a bit better as far as like a weapon goes because right now most people do not use the slingshot as a weapon you just use it for explosive ammo if you're using it for anything kill 10 slimes have i not done that yet initiation how many slimes have i killed eight out of ten green slimes it has to be green slimes as well it can't be blue slimes down here you know what i think that's probably a better use of my time i don't think at this rate i'm gonna make it to floor 50. So why don't we go back and just kill some green slimes just you know well this is not the way to do it but let's go to floor 15. I forgot I don't have a weapon, so this is going to be a little bit fun. <laughs> it's okay. Green slimes, I mean, these early monsters, I can kill these with a scythe. And if I only have to kill two green slimes, I'm not too upset about that. You do have to end up killing a thousand at a certain point. You're not wrong about that. <laughs> That's going to be a fun grind. Alright, green slime. I'm going to dip out of here. As soon as I hear that buzzing sound, you, I'm out of there if I have the opportunity. Green slime. There's one. All right, perfect. That'll be our initiation quest done. We can get into the Adventurer's Guild, which is going to be pretty important for the future of this challenge. Both for ring purposes and for... weapon purposes. Enter the Adventurer's Guild. Don't think I can do that, because it is going to be too late to do that. Just to use bombs. When we when we inev when we eventually unlock bombs, I would love to use bombs. But right now, we don't really have access to any readily makeable bombs. Like I could, I have the recipe. I'm I'm gonna wonder how I'm gonna do that though. At least until I can upgrade a tool. <laughs> I can buy them from the dwarf, but I have to get the dwarf scrolls. All right. I think we call it there for the day, though. I got. I have to remember to pick up the gold parsnips, the gold quality parsnips from the shipping bin. I'm hoping that tomorrow we can get one more gold quality parsnip, and then that is one monkey off of our back. I don't have to keep on juggling the parsnips. If not, though, we'll just uh, we'll make do. Can, we can use bombs to hoe spaces, technically. It's a little bit cumbersome, but... I mean, this challenge is a little bit cumbersome, so... Alright, I got... I wish I should throw my sand berries on the ground. Leave them in here. Pick up the parsnips. And we're off to bed. Who's my favorite Stardew spouse? It's gotta be Haley. I mean, this a lot of the things of this challenge are built around having her as a spouse. A lot of the goals and stuff, like all the clothing and stuff. Definitely Haley. I got a whole command for the girl, for crying out loud. Have you tried just putting your four parsnips in the community center collection? I'm pretty sure it would not work. But I technically haven't tried. Hopefully I can just send all five to the community center today, though. If I'm lucky. If, 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 I'm, if, I'm, if I'm lucky. Okay, we're not lucky. All right, um... That's awkward. Need a fresh cauliflower for a recipe. I don't think we have any fresh cauliflower growing, nor do we have the time to grow one, so that's gonna you're gonna have to wait on that one, Jody, sorry to say. Caroline could eventually send me a fresh cauliflower, I think, in the mail, but I'm not gonna put too much of a priority on that. You think you can put partial community center stuff in? We can test it. We can definitely test it. Ooh, super high high luck day, though. That's very, very good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and water my crops, and then we will go to the mines for sure. Got to take advantage of that. It doesn't finish the donation, but it stays. I could have sworn you could not do that, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll go. I'll go test that. I gotta do a garbage run and stuff anyway, so I might as well. Parsnip right there. K. 
Okay, I think that's everything watered. I'm gonna hope anyway. Let's go see if I can donate these parsnips. You would do this with 12 slots, but not six. Six? That's what, like, a sane person would do. I mean, a sane person would probably not want to undertake the Iron Man challenge in any capacity. I think most people are, are content enough to watch someone do this challenge rather than do it themselves. Um, and I did I did tangle with the tango with the idea of just doing like a 12 inventory slot challenge, but I figured, you know, why not spice things up a little bit? Why not go to the absolute metric limit? Alright, let's see what we got here. Quality crops. Does not seem to work. What if I shift click? Shift click? No. Okay. Cannot be done. I could leave these parsnips here, but I also need them to check for gold quality parsnips in the future, so. Let me go. I'll do I'll do a little bit of reverse garbage can uh hunt today. Start a Jojo and work my way back. That way I'll be because I need to head back to the farm anyway. Would have been useful. It was worth checking, but uh, not uh, no dice today. They don't want to make the challenge too easy on me. Come on. <laughs> Argon just admitted he's insane. You got to be a little insane to do some of these challenges. I'm not. Uh, I'm. I'm not going to shy away from that. You got to be at least a little bit, a little bit of a masochist. Not that I enjoy pain. But, I mean, maybe on some level I do. I don't know. <laughs> I don't find these challenges painful, though, is the thing. I think in some capacity I enjoy suffering, but I don't enjoy pain. If that makes any sense. I'm a suffer core gamer. Ooh, that's good. I've already made the challenge basically as hard as it can. Don't tempt me. Don't make me restart this challenge with a 25% profit margin. I'll do it. Don't think I won't. I had I had to hold myself back from not uh, invoking that at the start of this, making it literally as hard as it could possibly be. You gotta know you gotta know where to draw limits. I'll go store these parsnips for right now, and then we'll grab our salmon berries and make make our way to the mines. Didn't get there as early as I would have wanted, but should still have plenty of time to get the uh, get to floor fifty or beyond. We shall see. Ooh, artifact spot though. Rusty spur is donatable, so I need to. You know what? I think this is a good contender for our table slot right now. There you go. Move right along. Hey there, Maggie. Got back from your night class. What were you what were your class for? In my one year at university, I had like one night class. It was a. It was a. It was one of the computer science classes because I was in. I was in for computer science for about a year, but it was not the. I went. To, I went to university too soon. I was. It was not the right time for me to go. So I dipped out of there pretty quickly after that one year. But I do still like uh, computer science and programming in general. Nutrition and physical activity. Ooh. I could probably use some of that education, to be honest with you. Need to get on that HelloFresh sponsorship. Get me, get me some of that healthy food. I mean, on these floors more than ever, I should go looking for freebies before I just start mining. 
because obviously it's going to eat up a lot of energy to mine through these rocks. Ooh. Get, get away from me, please. Why are you so obsessed with me, you silly little bat? He just cannot leave me alone. Look, look at this guy. Alright. Show me the freebie. Thank you. Thank you. Very appreciated. These freebie ladders are going to be nice. These dust sprites are also actually kind of nice because they can break rocks for you. I, I don't use this term lightly, but do you know what the most BS thing in Stardew is? To me, at least, from my experience as a challenge runner, and especially having done a no-level-up challenge where, you know, experience is key. The fact that if a dust sprite breaks a rock and it gives ore or coal or whatever, the fact that that gives you mining experience is a little... It's a little far. It's a little far. I get it. Like, the code is like... Rock breaks on the floor where the player is, on the, like the same map as the player. And if it gives mining experience, then no matter how that rock broke, you're getting the mining experience. But the fact is a dust sprite doing it. It's not me. I can even understand getting the mining experience from a bomb breaking a rock. Getting it from a dust sprite breaking a rock? That's just that's just a bit it's it's overkill. Concerned ape. Just stop. Can we get a hot fix, please? Yeah, the dust sprites do break rocks. This is... <laughs> these bats are a little... a little much right now. There's a skull south of where Linus was by the lake. Yeah, we dug that up the other day. It was, uh... I've already donated one of the skulls to the museum. So I just kind of left it there. To languish and... Do whatever skulls do. It's definitely mammalian, though, I can tell you that. Scythe the bats? I don't think it's worth it, to be honest with you. I think it would take too long. <laughs> we could try. Oh I, oh, I hit a 7 there! I hit an 11! No, wait, no, that was just two 1s next to each other. <laughs> I did hit a 7 for sure, though. There was a critical hit somewhere in there with this scythe. This does not feel... Like the path forward, though. Are they driving you, Batty? I'm gonna endeavor not to die, Lisa. I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm trying to stay on top of my health. I'm using all these sand berries. Yeah, see, the dust sprite just broke that rock. Give me a frozen geode and everything. All right, we gotta. I gotta get out of here. I gotta re up my health again. Just a few too many bats. A great thing we're not playing in multiplayer, because otherwise these bats would still be swarming me even when I'm eating, I'm pretty sure. Alright, come on. This could be kind of a fun challenge to try in multiplayer if, like, you both only have one slot and you could, like, juggle between yourselves. Here'd be something fun to do about that. Please. A single... A, a single staircase. It's supposed to be a really good luck day. Why am I not getting a staircase, man? <laughs> Alright, keep on eating. Is this also a no death? No reset challenge? I'm, I make no guarantees either way. <laughs> When you know everything about a game, a crazy person can make you look at it a different way. It's true, I mean... We got a lot of smart Stardew Valley players in here. But to be good, to do challenge runs and things like that, you really have to think outside the box a lot of the time. And you learn, tend to learn a lot of, uh, a lot of cool, interesting things as a result. My gosh, this, this staircase... This is absolutely ridiculous. 
I just want one staircase, please. Maybe the four sword is the way to go instead of the salmon berries. I don't know. Hard to say. I mean, they both got their pros and cons, obviously. You know what would actually be kind of a boon right now is the soul, the, the what is it, the soul sapper ring that gives you energy when you kill monsters. Can't get that until until Volcano Dungeon, but that honestly, it's a ring I never thought that I would want to use. But I could see myself wanting it right about now. <laughs> hey, Disneyland Life. 1984. Thank you very much for the uh for the super chat. 499. Thank you so much. Are you gonna make friends with Clint to get the bars in the mail? You know what? I didn't honestly think of that. That's one way to go about getting bars. It's It wouldn't get us, like... I mean, it, it could save us some time having to grind out one of the bars, but that's actually a very smart strategy. I should probably befriend Clint. Vampire bat is good. Vampire ring is good, too. Maybe we should go for the vampire ring, honestly. Just kill, like... Just try and grind that one out. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Literally, have I mined every single rock on this floor? What is happening? <laughs> There's a bunch down here. Don't tell me it was right near the entrance the whole time. The whole time? All right, at least they gave me a freebie after all that. Holy moly. All right. I was hoping to make it maybe to floor 55 today. At the very least, there's not that many rocks on this floor, so hopefully it'll go a little bit faster. I thought of crafting using the forge, but not friendship mechanics. Look, I might be smart in some capacities, but I get tunnel vision sometimes. Sometimes you get so enamored with the idea of getting a 4% drop when killing a Shadow Brute using only a scythe that you forget you could just, like, befriend the local blacksmith and everything will work out okay for you. What are some good gifts for Clint? I've never been in a situation where I've wanted to befriend Clint in, like, a rapid fashion. He likes a lot of gemstones like Emily does. And he likes metal bars and stuff. He likes artichoke dip. I know a good few things about what he likes from, from the Giftathon, I suppose. Alright, this should be either boots or a weapon of some kind. Honestly, I think I'm willing to say goodbye to the salmon berry. Well, you know what? We'll sell the salmon berries if I'm not going to be using them going forward here. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to sell the sell my remaining salmon berries, and then I can go pick up that uh, whatever that weapon or boots might be later on. It's boots. It's it's a remixed uh, mine rewards though, so we, it might not be boots, even though it is probably in uh in the standard play. Gems and omni geodes, something else pretty easy, but you don't remember for Clint. Yeah, gems are probably going to be the way to go. Alright, good stuff. 9 p.m. I can probably go back and see what was in that chest, honestly. Let's just toss the parsnips for right now. Leave them right there. Hopefully the crows won't come and take them. And we'll go check that chest. Actually, should I check the chest? Because if it is boots or a weapon... I mean, if it's boots, then I'm kind of in a bad spot because I can only I only have one shoe slot. We'll leave it. It's fine. I think, honestly, we probably... Could I? We know we could, uh. No, I'm just gonna go to bed. Go to bed and hopefully progress even further beyond tomorrow. Alright.
If you break open a Geode and don't want the gems, sometimes he does. I don't think Clint likes most of the Geode minerals, but uh, the standard minerals are probably the way. Leave the mine chest until I get a dresser. I should probably just invest in a dresser pretty soon here. Maybe even before the uh, maybe even before the house upgrade. You can go visit Robbins and see if one is available. Alright, what do we got for daily luck today? Alright, definitely not going to the mines in that case. Big yikes. Stink, you stinky crow. I cannot wait for, for the flower dance when we finally get a, the scarecrow. Gotta be the latest person in Stardew Valley to get the scarecrow up and running, but... <laughs> we're gonna get there. Yo, finally! Okay, five gold quality parsnips. I'm taking this straight to the bank. I'm st And by the bank, I mean community center. Took a little while, but we got there. We got there in the end. Now I can just, like, sell the rest of those parsnips and never look back. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness for that. Oh my goodness, Karita. Becoming a being member for two months on your birthday. Thank you so much. At the Neutron level, no less. Thanks for the streams. I have officially been part of, of one eighteenth of my lifespan, and I couldn't be happier. You made a big impact on your community. Don't forget that. Thank you for the kind words so much, Karita. Thank you for sticking around for so long. You've been an awesome community member, and I'm so happy to have you. Thank you for the generosity. Yeah. Just thank you for being here. All right, we are going to go ahead and donate five gold quality parsnips. Oh my gosh, it took a while to save those up, but uh, there we go. No longer have to worry about that. They are stored forevermore with the Junimos. Have a good night there, no cap. Now let's go sell those remaining parsnips. And, I mean, I'll want to plant more parsnips later on, way in the future, when I want my more sustainable food court goal. But that's not for a while yet. I'm thinking that I'm going to grow... I want to have, like, a whole big variety farm on Ginger Island, I think is going to be the best way to do it. Because then, the, at least on Ginger Island, I don't have to worry about scarecrows. I don't have to worry about uh, not being able to use sprinklers. It's just going to be a lot better than trying to do it on this farm. And this farm, and on the farm here, we can just save it for, like, buildings and stuff, which you can't build on Ginger Island. Thank you for, the, for all the Argon love as well, to uh, for, for Karita and just in general. It's a very, very nice sentiment. I love you guys, too. A spring tuber, a spring YouTuber. All right, parsnip. Get sold, and this should be a silver quality parsnip here. Sell that, and let's uh, get the watering done. You found a way to make this challenge harder? Lay it on me, Allie. Well, that's a parsnip. I, I didn't even realize there was still one remaining. I'm all for making this challenge harder if it if it makes it harder in an interesting way. I'm here for it. No starter tools. There probably is a way to do that. It would just be extremely annoying. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, there was a version of this challenge that had literally, like, I think it was, I think I, I think I cut it down to two slots or something like that. I don't know. But I figured, I figured that, like, no matter what then, if I did, like, two slots or even three slots, that, like, crafting would be impossible. The best, the best case, case you could do to make crafting still possible, if you're not allowing chests, is five slots. Because you need at least five slots to craft for the tub of flowers, but... Yeah, that would be... <laughs> You're not wrong, that would be a lot worse. Alright, let's go donate this rusty spur. Also water Timbeeb, of course. And then I will probably... What am I going to do for the rest of the day? I could go fishing. 
was gonna say I gotta go grab my fishing rod if I'm gonna go fishing, but joke's on me, I don't have a fishing rod. <laughs> I gotta go buy a fishing rod if I want to go fishing, and Willie is not in on Saturdays, so rip me, I guess. Alright. I guess I'll go clay farming. I don't I don't know, dude. I just, did you just say I just remembered something, but then he forgot? I just remembered something, but I forgore. OMG me. Buy the bombs, use water, water retaining soil until farming level 2, then just use sprinklers for farming. I did conceptualize a no energy run at some point, and then some, someone on YouTube actually did the no energy run. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name, but I watched that video, and it was a banger of a video. They did a, they did a great job with the no energy run. And it wasn't... Uh, I know I know someone someone did it, like a popular, a, a more popular YouTuber did it, but um, there was someone else who did it in, in, like, in the way I kind of... Because, like, whoever did it Who's like, uh, they, they do like a lot of gaming challenges. I can't remember their name either right now. But they did the Joja route as opposed to the community center route, whereas I think the person I'm thinking of did the community center route. Either way, hats off to both of them. It's not an easy challenge. <laughs> no energy in Stardew Valley is, uh, not something I would wish on my worst enemy. Then again, neither is no inventory, so. All right, let's go donate the rusty spur. You know, I'm also going to read all these books while I'm here because I don't like the little floating book icons every time. Tips on farming, snooze. This book is by Marnie. You, Fisherman Act 1. I've read it before. It's, it's all right. 5 out of 10. On foraging, I don't really do that. How deep do the mines go? Have they even read the wiki? An old farmer's journal. Old people are boring. All right. No offense to... <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be old someday, too. So I'm going to be boring, too. But you know what? Actually, old people are very interesting in real life. You take the time to listen. They do have... They got some great stories to tell. The backlogs. They're the ones that... They're the one... They did the uh, Jojamar route. Someone else did the uh, did the community center route. I'm closer to being old than you are. Yeah, but you're you're not old. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're play farming today, right? Do I need a clam for the crab pot bundle, or have I already picked up that cl picked up a clam earlier? I think I got a clam earlier. Crab pot bundle, yeah. Am I able to do anything in the boiler room? Blacksmith bundle, not really. I should be start befriending Clint. You know what? It might not be a bad idea to go looking for a gemstone to try and befriend Clint. At least to like start on that. Y'all just bundle. I could do some of that as well, honestly. Maybe I'll maybe I will go to the mines. Uh, we'll take this just to sell it. I can't sell it directly to Willy because he is closed today. You see this artifact spot, though. Yeah. Clay? I mean, it's telling me to, to start clay farming. What's more valuable, a silver quality clam or two pieces of clay? I honestly have no idea. I'm just going to take the clam. Because it's, it's a silver quality at the very least. There's no silver qual quality clay in this game. That much I can confirm. Quantum Feet? That might be the one. That might be the one who actually did the community center route. I think she also tried to go for, like, perfection and stuff, but you actually can physically cannot get perfection without using some energy. You can get really close, but you have, like, you can you have to use at least, like, one watering can thing. Like, you have to use the watering can one time in order to enter the volcano. And then from that point, you can get to the forge, and you can enchant all your tools with, like, efficient, and then you never use energy again. But the fact that you can even get that far is actually kind of kind of mind-boggling. All right, I want to go up to the mines and try and get some some resources. Either some, either, I, we'll see if I can get a gem for Clint first, and then I will look into getting... 
quartz and earth crystal for the bundle, I think. Uh, I was going to say I should bring a weapon or something, but I don't want to trash my weapon for a mineral, so I'll just bring this wild horseradish instead as a, as a food source. Let's use blades, water bomb. Ooh, the leek is actually a better food source. Here you go, Linus. You can have this. It's like, yeah, 40 energy right there. Not even bad. Hey there, Tyler. Welcome in. Use Blade's water bomb. Imagine if the water bomb was actually real, though. I don't know what the best way to farm gems is, so I'm just going to, like, go through the mines until I find a gem rock. I don't think any floor is more likely than another, so I think we just do this. It is a bad luck day, so it's going to be a bit of a hassle trying to even get through the mines, but then we just look for a gem rock for Clint. Try and befriend that son of a gun, and then we're, we're good to go. If I could get even, like, two gem rocks, like, of the same gem, that would be great, because we can befriend Clint and Emily that way. These kind of gems in them sometimes. In this case, it's just... Just a little useless coal. Coal itself is not useless. Ooh, the earth crystal, though? I think we take the earth crystal, realistically. Should take the opportunity when I get it, right? Or do we keep going? You know what? Let's keep going. Earth crystals are easy enough to come by. So, so is quartz. We're not worried about that either. I'm going specifically for, like, an amethyst or something. Although, if I could kill this crab and get a crab drop, that might be the true reward at the end of this. That would be great for the crab pot bundle. Okay, we'll get there. Ooh, a cherry bomb! <laughs> I mean, it would be kind of nice to, to be able to hold on to it, but I think I'd rather keep the, the leak for right now. Take that and go. Amethyst? Amethyst? Anything? Amethyst? Garnet? Pearl? Dwarf? I could I could have used the cherry bomb to access the dwarf. You're not wrong. But I don't really have a reason to access the dwarf right now. All these geodes, man. Is it worth just, like, resetting a floor to, like, look for, for gemstones? Like, if I just, like, leave, like, go floor zero, then we go, like, floor five, have a like, little quick look around for a gem rock, is this better or is this equivalent? Then we, like, go to, like, floor 15, also check that. Have a quick, just have a quick gander around. This might be faster. Kill crab for crab. If I see a crab, I will kill it, but I might have, I might have just missed the crab. I think deeper is better. I think we go floor 25. We just try, try to, like, progress from floor 25 onward, or do we just, like, re we could reset floor 25, maybe. Gemstones don't spawn on X5 floors. The only gems that spawn are diamonds. Okay. That's what I was thinking of then. Well, let me let's let's go to like floor twenty and just like check this one. I'm no stranger to resetting floor twenty. mine every single rock and, and get zero staircases out of it. It's literally the last rock I mine. It is. Okay, cool. 
I mean, there was a copper ore up there, I guess, but... Ooh, I see a, cro I see a rock crab. Give me that crab. Ooh, we got the crab. Okay, I'm gonna take that then. Uh, eat this leek. Watch the crab do his little crab dance. No, we don't want fiber, we want the crab. Alright, we'll take the crab and run. Make hay while the sun shines. This puts us probably like one item away from doing from finishing the crab pot bundle. And if I finish the crab pot bundle, then I can use crab pots for things. I can at least because I have I'll have three crab pots, right, from completing the crab pot bundle. Then I can use that to I mean, it's at least like a little bit of passive money probably and passive fishing experience. Not the worst idea. Crab pot bundle. There we go. So we just need to get one of these other things. No, I, I can't get any of this without an actual crab pot. So the only option is the mussel. So I need to get that via foraging or from fishing on the beach farm. Actively has to refill bait is an annoy is annoying inventory. You know what? You got make a good point. <laughs> Refilling the crab pots with bait could be pretty cumbersome because I'd have to like go and get the bait every day, or I have to store bait somewhere, or like hold the bait. That'd be that'd be pretty rough. Muscles just spawn on the beach, so it's fine. Let's actually go check. I didn't check the beach today, I don't think. Might as well go have a quick look. Speaking of, it's probably not a bad idea either to repair the bridge on the beach at some point here. If it's not a good luck day tomorrow, maybe I can do that. I can just gather the 300 wood and repair that bridge while I'm thinking about it. I don't know if I can get 300 wood in a single day. That probably could. Well, I was down here to do something, because there's, there's clay waiting for me. Are there any mussels? No mussels, okay. No Haley at the flower dance? That's okay. We'll survive. It is unfortunate, but we'll get her next year. When's the first strawberry harvest supposed to be? I planted them. I should I should have this internalized. This should be like one of the Stardew pieces of info that I just like remember. But I never do when like if you plant this the strawberries on the day of the egg festival, when are you gonna get actually get the first har strawberry harvest? It's like the twenty first or twenty second, I think. But I could not tell you right now. Ooh, that's a decent amount of money, though, from those parsnips. Imagine catching a frog and gifting it to Sebastian. That would be pretty fun. It is a rainy day today. You know, I kind of want this, the Magna Ring back to a certain extent. Just see it sitting there. It is today! Yo, Strawberry Harvest Day? My inventory's full! Rip. All right. First strawberry harvest. Yo, we got some higher quality strawberries in, in here too. We got a lot of higher quality strawberries. What the heck? Okay. Alright, cool. You don't have any mail. Well, thanks for making me feel lonely, but I didn't mean to check that. Some silver quality strawberries. There's at least one gold quality strawberry. Two gold quality strawberries. I didn't check these ones over here yet. Not bad, not bad. I'm convinced that Argon has become more powerful as the suffering increases. <laughs> Welcome in, Leap. You know what? It, you might have uncovered my secret. All this time, you think I'm just doing these challenges for fun or for entertainment purposes? No. I'm doing them for immortal life. 
You are all feeding into my power. I've been... I've been uncovered. I've been unmasked. I mean, if this was the, the, the secret to, to immortality, is to play Stardew Valley Challenges, I'm here for it. <laughs> I'll do it for the rest of time. Okay. Let's... What am I going to do today? I feel like I had a plan, but now I forgot what the plan was. You know what my plan should, should start with, though? I should... Uh, let's avoid that. Avoid the magnet ring. Let's go check the Queen of Sauce. Queen of Sauce. Radish salad, we'll take it. And fortune teller. Bad luck day. Okay, so we're not worrying about the mines at all today. I think I want to repair that bridge on the beach in that case. Might as well at least try to do it. Bleeding to gain life. Bleeding with my brain. <laughs> You'll keep streaming now that your secret is revealed. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, de no, no reason not to, as far as I'm concerned. All right. Yeah. Start gathering the wood. We need 300 wood. Hopefully, in just one day here. The rest of the stuff that these trees drop is like kind of inconsequential to me. Although. Replanting the trees with these seeds might not be the worst idea either. I'm gonna need to get my energy refill at some point, though. Which should, that should be easy enough, though. I just have to go and, like, deposit my wood and, uh, like, in the shipping bin or whatever. Then go buy some salads and we're... we're schmoovin'. Isn't it better to just chop the top off and move on to save energy? Technically true, yes, as far as, like, wood efficiency goes. But then you got a bunch of, like, stumps hanging around your farm. And I'm I'm not about that life. They just, like, get in the way. They take up space. They're, they're unsightly. And they spread a bunch of seeds, which, I mean, could be useful... But I'd rather, you know, spread the seeds myself. And it's not that inefficient. It's not so inefficient to chop the stumps that I'm not going to do it. If you know what I mean. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Was that an innuendo? We don't know what that word means around here. It's a PG-13 stream. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, let me go get some energy somehow. Get this out of here. I don't like these little mini trees. That one can stay. It's okay. Some of them are... Some of them have a better vibe than others, you know? Coop? We could get a coop. Actually, we can't get a coop yet. I looked back into it. I th for some reason, I thought that a coop was only wood that you needed, but you need wood and stone for a coop. So until we send a tool in for an upgrade, we cannot get a coop. I need to get a silo first and foremost. Wait, can I build a silo? <laughs> Hold on a second. Am I able to build a silo? <laughs> Did I just realize that? Wait, a silo is what? It's stone, copper, and clay, right? This is literally, that literally stopped me dead in my tracks. Is, is it just copper and clay, or is it stone, copper, and clay? If it's three things, then we can't get a silo yet. Silo is three. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my god, I love it. All right, we're going to have a coop, but no silo. We're gonna have to go to Marnie's every day and buy hay. What, what? What? We're gonna have to buy a bunch of hay and like juggle it. Oh my gosh! All right, that's gonna be a fun one. 
Chickens eat grass. You know what? We're going to have to have them just outside on the farm. That's probably the way to go. Just have them eat the grass. In the winter, could be a problem. Yeah, we'll just get we'll get grass starters. Wait, can I craft grass starters? I think I can because it's just fiber, right? In fact, why don't I do that like right now? I can just go buy the grass starter recipe while I'm in the neighborhood. Yeah, we won't scythe all the grass down. We'll make sure to have some on hand. There's a whole big section. Uh, we don't need to see the cutscene. There's a whole big section in the southern part of the beach farm that's, like, full of grass. So I can just use that. Alright, let me see here. Uh, grass starter recipe. $1,000. You know what? It's worth it. Should I buy any more seeds? Is it worth... Like, how much time do I have left in the season? Seven days? I can buy more parsnips... I could buy more potatoes. I could buy kale or tulip bulbs <laughs> for for whatever reason. Or jazz seeds. Actually, jazz seeds might be a bit too... Should I buy some tulips? <laughs> buy some tulips? They are pretty. You know what? I can't argue with that. Tulips are very pretty. But tulips are also a nightmare for someone who only has one inventory slot, because not only are they going to be different qualities, but you got different colors of tulips. Part of me wants to buy kale. I've never bought kale before. We do need to also sell 15 of every crop in order to get the polyculture achievement, because that unlocks a, a hat. So you know what, why don't we just buy some kale while I'm here? can't store the tulips so what will I do with them we'll just you know we'll just admire them for the day for a day and then let them die <laughs> no I'd probably end up just like selling them yeah, tulips are an inventory nightmare no matter what but especially so in this case all right we're gonna sell that I'm gonna buy the kale seeds I'm gonna buy let's just buy like a bunch of kale I don't I, I for some reason the kale is calling to me today 25 kale 30 kale 30, 30, 40 kale? 50 kale. I'm buying 50 kale. <laughs> Why did I just buy 50 kale seeds? Am I crazy? I mean, yes, but, like, I didn't think I was crazy for kale. I'm cuckoo for kale seeds. I feel like kale chips, I feel like I've had those before and I liked them. Arrowhead, I think I've already donated, right? Crudely fashioned, yeah, okay, so I will toss my kale seeds for right now, and I will go sell the arrowhead, and I will pick up my kale seeds again. Watering is going to be fun. I mean, at least today, I don't have to worry about it too much. Where'd my wood go? My wood? Hold on. My wood. <laughs> it was bound to happen at some point. If I was the wood, okay, fine. You know, we're just. We're, I guess we're selling that wood today. I was just all all hunky dory about my kale seeds. I didn't even think about my wood that was stored in the shipping bin. Oops. I mean, if you're using a shipping bin as storage, that is bound to happen at least once, probably more than once. If we're being realistic here. But uh, oh well. Not the end of the world. I, my energy! <laughs> I'm so dumb. Okay, hold on a second. Plant plant the kale seeds. Throw the kale seeds down here. Go buy a salad. Just one salad is fine. Honest, and honestly, sell all this sap, too. It's just gross to look at. Oh my gosh, there's so m I chopped so many trees. I forgot. We cannot drop tools on the ground. That would be a huge, huge time saver for sure. Eat sap for energy. You can't fool me, chat. I mean, at least, at the very least, it was just the wood. It was. I mean, it was a lot of wood, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't like my gold quality parsnips from earlier or anything like that. That would have been devastating. That would have been possibly reset worthy. 
This is just like wood. We got we got lots of wood stored in our trees. Did I raise sheep in your barn? I'm I'm one step behind you. I don't even have a barn. Alright, um, we're buying salad. Just a single salad, please. You know what's gonna be kind of a huge upgrade? Is uh the spa. When the spa gets unlocked in summer, we can restore energy without having to like use our one slot for food. That's I mean I've I don't use the spa all that often in normal play, but I could see myself using it a decent amount in in this playthrough. The ultimate Iron Man challenge makes for strange bedfellows. Welcome in Subalt. We're not ending the stream, are we? Oh my gosh, it's three hours. <laughs> Doesn't feel like it's been three hours. Feel like it's been like five minutes. Where'd my kale seeds go? There they are. Okay. I'll keep going for a little while. I might make this one a four-hour stream. I don't even know yet. I'm just having a good time. That enough spots? I wasn't really counting. Almost. Should have. We just need six more spots. One, two, three, four, five, and there's one right up there, I see. Perfect. All right. Can I buy some flower seeds in summer? That's not a bad idea. I mean, just to buy some summer spangles. Not only are they pretty, but I could also give them to people. Caroline loves them, but a lot of villagers just, just like them as well. I guess I will plant some trees just, like, around. I'll make, like, a dedicated tree farm eventually, probably. But I don't think I have the, the resources necessarily to do that right now. A little bit of coral. You know what? I'm not even going to sell this coral. We can put this in a fish tank, right? In case I need it for any reason. Here you go, a little chub. That's not coral. What the heck is that? <laughs> that's like a... That's an artifact from Atlantis. Let me take that back out of the chat, out of the fish tank. What on earth? All right, let me go plant the acorns as well. Ch crafting chests makes for good wood storage. Ironically enough, it's true with the deconstructor. I was looking at the mixed seeds, and I'm like, you know what, I could plant those mixed seeds, but then I'm like, it would probably be better to save them for summer. Where am I going to save them, though? <laughs> for this, for the ultimate Iron Man challenge, you literally have to rewire your brain for Stardew Valley. The game is not made for this. <laughs> Ooh, Wilderness Golem. You know what, I will... I, I was going to go get my Forest Sword, but I'm pretty sure... Actually, no, you wouldn't despawn, would you? Monsters don't despawn when you go into your house, so I'm going to go get the Forest Sword... I don't want to kill you with my scythe. I mean, I probably could have killed him by now with my scythe, just in the time it's taken me to do this, but it's the principle of the matter. Feels good to actually be able to damage monsters. <laughs> Give me that living hat, please, sir. Not, no, not, not lucky today. That's okay. Okay. This bat wing, I will also... Uh, I mean, I could start a collection of bat wings for the adventurer's bundle if I wanted to, right? And bat wings? I'm probably better off just waiting for the solar essence and void essence. I will sell this bat wing, though. Alrighty, and what am I doing for the rest of the day? I mean, I could start... I, I'll, I'll start... I'll, I'll restart my wood collection. I'll do a bit of a mea, mea culpa. And start farming my wood back up. I think I'm okay with that. I almost trashed the sword. Don't think I didn't notice. I, I didn't bring it up. You brought it up, but you know. I, I definitely... Could feel that sword about to be trashed, and then I was like, oh, don't do that. <laughs> I 
how does crafting work? Sub alt, uh, I would recommend watching the start of this VOD, where I went over my my plans for crafting in the future. It's a it's a bit of a convoluted one, but it will work. It will work in theory. I'll add it to the uh, FAQ after this stream. I just I didn't want to add it before because I wanted to show it on stream and trying to explain the method via text is a bit too a bit too annoying. Okay, let me let me store the wood for real this time. And I'll go grab the seeds. I guess just plant what I can. Is that the only maple seeds I got? Might be. Plant one. Plant another one. Okay. Get the sure we'll collect the sap. I can sell that at the le at the very least. Sap is worth what, like two gold? <laughs> Maybe even only one. Hopefully it doesn't get killed by the bat. The bat's not gonna kill me. I can I can juke these bats all day. Hold you. Alright, get the wood out of there. Toss that to the ground. Toss that to the ground. There we go. Pick the wood back up, and I'm off to bed. Because this is getting annoying. Fertilizer? Oh, I should have made it into fertilizer. You're absolutely... That, you know what? It's not too late. It's not too late. Hold on. Throw the wood. Throw the wood on the ground. Throw the magnet on the ground. Throw the wood on the ground. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not too late. It's not too late. We can do this. Get the sap. Craft it into eight fertilizer, because why not? It's better than none. Fertilize the, the, the kale. No one talk to me about efficiency ever again. That's the magnet ring. I don't want that. All right, there we go. Perfect. Magnet ring right in front of the door. I can't see how that could possibly go wrong. And level three farming. Bee house, I cannot craft. Speed grow, I think I can craft. Farmer's lunch, no shot. Level 3 foraging as well. Tap Tappers! Yo, I can make tappers! They only require two things. So once I send a tool in for an upgrade, I can actually do that. That's strawberry money looking kind of nice. Bees will be, will be cool and we can have them. But we unfortunately cannot have them anytime soon. That's, that's a four crafting... That's a four item crafting recipe right there. Bees are going to be out of the picture. I mean, we can get, like, one bee house as a bundle reward, I think. Alright, let me go ahead and... I guess we'll keep the wood for right now. Jeez Louise, man. <laughs> this scarecrow cannot come fast enough. Don't... Don't for, Don't remind... Sorry. <laughs> I kind of went crazy for a second there. At least my speech pattern did. Don't let me waste all my money before the flower dance chat. I need $2,500 for the rare crow. It's an absolute necessity. Not only because of the deluxe scarecrow recipe for perfection, but also for my own sanity. How am I going to get perfection if there are things I can't craft? I should rephrase. I can't craft a bee, cat, bee house yet. Not until we reach Ginger Island. As hilarious as that sounds. Yeah, it's all part of the plan. See about three hours ago in the stream. <laughs> That might be a good spot to end the stream. If I get to the flower dance and I can get myself a rare crow, I think that would be a good stopping point for, for this stream. Because that's a pretty big win, getting my first scarecrow. It might not feel like it, but it's, uh, I mean, these, these crows, they add up over time. They've already gotten probably like six or seven of my crops. Maybe even more than that. Don't forget to water this and this. And, you know, why not? All right, what do we got as far as luck goes today? Spirits are in good humor. 
Do we go to the mines? It might be a mines kind of day. But also my wood. I mean, I, I can keep my wood collection. As long as I as long as I don't do anything silly again. My energy is a little bit tanked. I could probably if I'm going to go to the mines, I think I would want to stock up on some salads beforehand. Or do I just not go to the mines today? But it's a good luck day. I got to go to the mines today. In that case, what do I do in the meantime? Because I, I want to get the energy. I would rather have the energy than the sword, probably. But also, because, I mean, I have, I'm already low on energy, kind of. I'm like halfway through my energy. When's the flower dance? It is on the 24th. Fine, I'll put the ring on. Jeez. <laughs> Let me see if I can go buy a dresser. You know what? Maybe that's what we need to do today. As long as Robin doesn't charge me an arm and a leg for a dresser like she did for that diviner table, then I'm, I'm here for it. I need to empty my inventory if I'm buying a dresser, though. Hold on. Just throw the forest sword out here. I won't forget it. Promise. I won't forget you, forest sword. It's okay. It's... Look. Looks like someone went, like, streaking through here or something. They're just dropping, dropping all their stuff, but... Dresser is 5k. Do not. Dre certain dr different dressers have to cost different amounts, right? Let's let's at least have a look. Let's at least have a look. Oak dresser. Oak dresser is five thousand dollars. What are you talking about, Robin? Holy. Okay. Um, that's awkward. We do have end tables. We got some tables. I'm gonna buy an oak end table. Because it's a one-slot table. It is a it is a table that takes up one space in the in the greater Stardew world. Hold on a second. Oak table. You can go right here for now. I'm just gonna go sell this clay real quick. We're all about that peak efficiency, baby. And they're cheaper. They're also cheaper than regular tables. So these end tables are actually going to be pretty nice to have. I'm going to take this end table. I'm going to consume that leak right there. I'm also going to consume the horseradish. Let's just load up on energy. So I want to go to the mines. I want to get, try and get at least another five floors down in the mines if I can. I bring this. Keep on bringing this table home. How, much, how many spaces does it take up in the lesser Sardew world? You'll have to ask the Junimos. Alright, let's just go ahead and plop this one. You know what? You can just go right there for now. That's where I normally put a chest. Now I'm going to go grab my stuff. Pick up this little guy here. Pick up this. I know I can't put the sword on the table, but can I put the ring on the table? I wouldn't mind doing that. At least until we have enough money that I can justify getting a dresser. I think putting the ring on the table might not be the worst idea. What, I'm trying to put a sword in my freaking <laughs> in my in my ring slot. All right, ring, table. Ring to the table. The ring cannot go on the table. Wait, I have a table here too. The ring cannot go on the table. Okay, we c so we can't put the ring on the table. That's awkward. I guess I'm just going to wear the ring for the time being. And I'm going to go buy some salads, so we're going to drop the forest sword. Thankfully, that worked out okay. I'm going to go get the salads, and I'm going to go to the mines. That's the plan. That's my plan, and I'm sticking to it. I did not get a dresser like I wanted, but at the very least, I did get a... I did get a table. That's a little bit of extra storage.
try to glitch through the table. To what end, though? You can glitch with chairs, but you cannot glitch with tables. You wouldn't download a table, would you? Do we actually want the ring? We do because we're collecting all rings. That's one of the goals of the of the challenge. Otherwise, I would just tell this small magna ring to take a hike. But I did think about because I know uh, it might have even even been Karita who mentioned who like suggested trying to get like all combinations of rings in jest. But between last stream and this one, I did actually look into it. And I'm like, you know what? It's not as many rings as you would think. It's still too many rings, and I'm not going to do it. Let's buy four salads. I don't want to burn too much money. Like, it's... it's Because here's the thing. In order to get all com combinations of rings, you need 28 copies of every ring. <laughs> Which doesn't sound that bad, right? Like, getting 28 copies of every single ring? That sounds, like, doable. It would take a long time, but the challenge is going to take a long time. Remember money for rare, Greg? Thank you. We got, uh, we should have enough. I think it's only 2,500. Imagine getting <laughs> the combo small magnet ring and large and regular magnet ring. The greatest combination ring ever seen. Small glow ring and large glow ring would be pretty good too. Any new long videos in production? I got uh, one big one still in production, yeah. And then uh, after I finish production on that one, it's gonna go. We're gonna go hard on the price of perfection video. Four hundred sixty-four rings minus twenty-eight. Wait, why minus 28? And if we got all combination rings, we also still need all non-combination rings. If we're going all rings, we're going all rings. <laughs> I'm probably not going to do that, but what if? What if? Welcome back, purple. Four hundred thirty-six. I mean, the total number of rings should be what? It would be like twenty-nine times fourteen. Like, I don't know, something like it's some somewhere around there. I'm pretty sure. I forget exactly the shortcut to to do that. All right, let's go to four fifty-five if I can if I can manage it. Save that mines chest for right now, at least until we have a dresser. Although getting better boots, as far as just, like, stats go, would honestly be pretty nice, too. As these sneakers, I mean, they got we got the drip. It's that nice rat matching red drip, but plus one defense is not where it's at. You can uncombine rings so you don't really see them as separate. Just, just the, okay, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. But if I want to have all rings at once for my for my jewelry store at the at the shopping complex, you know, we've got to have a ring for every occasion. I might not see the reason that you would want a, a small magnet ring combined with a large magnet ring, but who am I to judge? I'm merely the, the proprietor. Of this, of this establishment, of this theoretical establishment. Yo, thank you for this gracious floor. Guaranteed freebie. And there's not even, like, any monsters here. This is so nice. Have I thought about Cinder Shards? What about Cinder Shards? I mean, having the space for them will be one thing, but I mean, once we get there, we will be able to free up space regardless because we'll have... This is not good, by the way. This is not good at all. I need to find a staircase pronto. <laughs> uh, we'll be able to make space via the forge. See earlier in the stream. Alright, I need to eat a salad, for sure. 
I hate this. I hate this so much right now. You, <laughs> this is not gonna end well. This is gonna take all my salads this one floor. Please. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I gotta focus here. Alright, consume another salad. How many cinder shards do I think I need for, like, all the combinations? I get it. Okay, yeah. Just the sheer amount of cinder shards for combining that many rings. I mean, we could still do it. I think the hardest part would still be getting all the rings in order to combine them. This is so cursed. Right, this is horrible. <laughs> What I would not do. Oh my god, it's right next to the start. Okay, we're good. We're good. We just gotta we just gotta juke the the rest of these monsters real quick. And I'm out. Perfect. The perfect crime does not exist. Alright, get out of here, you dust sprites. You stinky dust sprites. Go eat a rock, ugly. Please, just one more floor. Every five floors at this point in my life is a blessing. Thank you. I will take that. But do you think we can make floor 60? Probably not. <laughs> Bex, thank you for being a member for five months at the Electron level. I greatly appreciate it. Five months already. Love this community. I'm, gl I'm glad to have you here as part of the community. You are a fantastic community member, and I greatly appreciate the generosity. Thank you so much. Lots of Argon love to you. Alright, I am going to... I still have this one salad. I'm not going to be able to keep it, probably, because I am... Uh, I wanna, I'm want to. i going to be ending the stream fairly soon, and we don't want to just leave the salad on the ground. Remember, anything on the ground at the end of the stream is gone forever. So I need to make sure whatever I have in my inventory is what I want to keep. It'll probably end up being the Forest Sword. But I can use this salad, in theory, to do a little bit of clay farming at the end of the day here. Yo, Timothy. Hello. Just watched the VODs of Price Perfection and got hyped about the cactus. Yo, I'm glad that you, uh, I'm glad you made it there. That, ooh, that muscle, that's the last thing I need for the crab pod bundle. If nothing else, I could probably do that. But I would like to do a little bit of clay farming. Glad to hear you're enjoying the VODs, though, Timothy. It was a fantastic, fun challenge, and, and I am uh, I, I still look back on it fondly. Although I could probably never do that cactus grind again, again in my life, and I'd be okay. You want to see a one energy perfection run after this? I mean, it's definitely an idea. I don't think it, I don't think you can do one energy perfection. I think it has to be like. I don't know what the minimum amount of energy you would need. This is one, two, three, four, six. Is this still okay? I think it's. I think this pattern is still fine. It's not like an ideal pattern because we missed the clay on that last spot there, but it'll work. Yeah, I don't know what the minimum energy. Oh, you know what? I might have to try and finagle this pattern a little bit better. Although it's kind of late in the day. Either way, I'm getting a lot of clay today. I'm not too chuffed about it. One, because of the upgraded watering can. But is one, like, the minimum amount that you would be able to use a watering can with? Or is, I mean, is it like, can you get it down to one, I should say, or is it going to be at least like two or more? I honestly don't know the answer to that question. You could probably get it down to one, to one energy, but I'd have to do more research to, in order to say that definitively. Either way, it's not going to be for a while to come if I do do that challenge, because I've already got a decent amount on my plate before I worry about lobbing another challenge into the into the fire here. There are plenty of things, and I mean, this this one, first and foremost right now, the, the Ultimate Iron Man challenge is uh, going to take up a considerable amount of my time. All 
All right, that's probably gonna be it for clay farming. I mean, I'm, it's kind of a waste of the salad. Don't get me wrong, but it is what it is. All right, let's get out of here. Farming level 10 makes it take one energy. You might, I think so. I don't know, honestly. Like a fully upgraded iridium can to get across the volcano thing in one in one shot of the water can, and then max farming. You could probably make it work. But again, I haven't done the research into it, so who knows? All right, I have wood waiting in this shipping bin, don't I? I sure do. All right, so we go ahead and toss the wood, grab the clay, sell the clay, keep the wood, and carry on with my life. Oh, wait a second. I just realized if I end the stream before getting my 300 wood for that for that bridge, then I'm going to have to either get rid of the wood or the forest sword. Cross that bridge when we come to it. Can't you just build a bridge in the volcano? You're not able to build that bridge in the volcano until you've gone through the volcano at least one time. I'm pretty sure I did check that. Make a chest with the wood, but don't use it. I mean, I could make a chest with this wood. That's true. It feels kind of like blasphemy to make a chest that early on. But it's, uh, <laughs> it is an idea. Stay away from my crops. Oh my gosh. I can't, I can't, this flower dance cannot get here fast enough. Uh, boy, I tell you what. All right, uh, well, it's raining, so I don't need to water anything, which is nice. I can use all my energy, and I'm going to try and get it with the 300 wood today. And we'll just uh, try and do that in order to use this wood productively. That's my plan. I'm sticking to it. Nothing will cause me to deviate from this plan. Greg cannot arrive soon enough. Please free Greg. We're gonna get Greg's girlfriend. The little, like, uh, farm girl, rare crow, whatever you want to call it. Honestly, might be my favorite rare crow design, personally. Well, actually, no, I really like the... There's, like, one that's based on, like, a Studio Ghibli character, apparently. I don't know what the character is, but I like the look of him. It's like a dude with like the top cat, top hat and the long coat. I really like that rare crow. Raccoon rare crow is also a pretty good vibe. We could get a bunch of alien rare crows to display all the hats if we wanted to. Turnip head? Is that what he is from Studio Ghibli or Ghibli or however you pronounce it? I'm never, I'm all, I always flip flop on those pronunciations. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> From Howl's Moving Castle. Is Howl's Moving Castle worth watching in 2023? Is it still good, or is it, uh... Has it aged not well? I'm assuming it's aged pretty well, because people still talk about it extremely fondly, so... I'm gonna... I'm gonna assume that it's worth... Worth the watch, but I've never seen it. I'm just getting a sheer cavalcade of yes, yes, yes. In all caps, no less, from some people. Watch, please. Where where, where does one watch Howl's Moving Castle in 2023? Is it available on any streaming services that I might have access to? Or is it one where, you know, we have to go and uh, go spelunking for some, for some booty? If you know what I mean. You have to go sailing on the seven seas if you catch my drift. Netflix has them, HBO, Netflix. Okay, I'll have, to, I'll have to look into it. Maybe between this stream and the next one, I, I will have seen Howl's Moving Castle. Who knows? I did, I did watch some of the Studio Ghibli stuff not that long ago. I watched, what was it? I watched, um... Because they're such, like classic movies that I've just, like, never taken the time to see. I always hear about them, but I haven't gone to, gone to watch them. I watched Kiki's Delivery Service, and I watched, um... 
Princess Mononoke. I th those are both Ghibli, right? They're they're both they're both very good. I both I like both of them a lot. But I never went to see Howl's Moving Castle. I am in Canada, and it's on Canadian Netflix, so I don't have to worry about my VPN. That's Pog. That's extremely Poggers right there. Alright, let's go do a little garbage run. And I'm going to go ahead and deposit my wood for the time being. We'll just, I guess we'll just toss though. We don't need to deposit it necessarily. We'll be back for it before too long. But I want to get some salads. Haley talked to her sister last night for quite a bit and enjoyed it. We're gonna we're gonna mess with these sisters' emotions in this in this challenge more than any other. <laughs> this is gonna be a wild ride. I think Haley is gonna be okay with the fact that I marry and then div divorce Emily and then ask her to be my 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 bride. I think she's gonna be all right with that. Probably, at the end of the day. I mean, I'm sure we, Chloe's Chloe's quite the smooth talker. If there's one thing I know about Chloe is that she's got that riz, as the kids say. Did I use it right that time? I don't even know. You should do the Haley command for every villager. That's a lot of work. But it would be kind of fun. But then I also do worry that chat would devolve into nothing but exclamation point Haley, exclamation point Vincent, exclamation point Jazz, excla exclamation point Clint. And, like, we just start having a bunch of random Stardew Valley NPC conversations in the middle of chat, and we would have no, pro no progress. I think exclamation point Haley is good enough for right now. What's Riz? It's, like, short for Charisma. It means that you've like you're you're a charismatic individual. I'm pretty sure. Exclamation point up dog. Yo, Nightbot went kind of crazy with the with the jelly command for a second there. All right, sell those. Then we're gonna go buy some salads. Buy buy a little salad or two. Is the dish of the day ever worth it for energy? 400 gold for a chocolate cake? Probably not. Alright, we go ahead and buy... Buy me... Yeah, two salads is probably fine. If not, I can always come back for more salads. The saloon is open late. If you stay in the sun a lot, it'll make your hair lighter. Is that, like, that's that's true, I'm pretty sure. But also, like, why is it true? Why why is hair, like, why does the sun bleach your hair? Why is that a thing? What is the, what is the scientific molecular reasoning for that? What does your hair create more of to become lighter because of the sun's powerful rays. Or alternatively, what does it lose, I guess? UV radiation? Is this a good enough answer? It might be. It might be it might be the, the deepest answer we can possibly get. It burns away all the darkness. Sounds pretty legit to me. I want to get rid of these mixed seeds real quick. There we go. Yeah, we're going to have more than enough energy here. We already we still have one salad in reserve. And I'm gonna have enough uh, to get 300 wood here. Steals the color molecules or something. Chat, what color is an atom? What color is like a like a hydrogen atom? Are atoms like different colors or do, do, does color break down at the atomic scale? Because color is base, it's like just a, a product of like light bouncing off of things and refracting in a certain way, right? I feel like atoms are too small to ha actually have a color, right? Like color doesn't actually exist in the real world. It only exists in our brains. Atoms kind of glow, is that true? I don't, I, maybe. 
I mean, everything kind of glows. I just, I don't know if it, if it all glows at, like, in a subatomic level like that. Let's get up to exactly 300 wood here. I think I'm pretty happy with that situation. Need one last stick, and we got it. All right, 300 wood. I will r run around real quick to sell... That's gonna mess me up. <laughs> you literally cannot see the wood over there. That's too funny. Alright, sap. I could make it into fertilizer, but I have nowhere to store the fertilizer, and I can't, like, fertilize these now that they're down here. So let's just sell the sap. Consume the salad. Science stuff is hurting my brain. Atoms glow if you split them. It's true. I mean, they do create a lot of energy. But everything's, like, constantly emitting energy. Like, like we glow. We just can't see the glow. We don't glow in the visual spectrum, but we glow in the, like, uh... In, not the UV spectrum. What's the other one? What's, like, the opposite of UV? Infrared, that's the one. Thank you. I was, I was gonna say microwave, but... I mean, I, I, I think I would probably glow if you put me in a microwave. I'm not gonna test it, though. All right, let's go build this bridge. We built this bridge. We built this bridge of wood and wood. <laughs> the opposite of UV is VU. You're not wrong. I hate it, but you're not wrong. Microwaves use UVs. Don't I thought microwaves use the longer frequency ones. UV is like super short frequency. It's like it goes like UV and then like gamma. And then like cosmic rays or something like that. I forgot that the, it still rains on this screen. What the heck? <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Uh, I could pick up all this coral. Ooh, a trilobite. Oh, that trilobite. I don't... It's, I mean, I'm excited because I don't. I haven't donated it yet, but I also have can't donate it because it's too late in the day. I wanted to get this, uh, this muscle and bring it to the community center. Okay, here's what we do. We run the trilobite back up to the farm. We put it on a table. I'm pretty sure I have a free table right now. Maybe even two. Then we run back down, we get that muscle, we bring it to the community center, we complete the crab pot bundle, we get the crab pots, then we can go and get, we can go put the crab pots down, we can go to the mines, get some bug meat, we can load up the crab pots with bug meat slash bait, because we have the recipe for that, right? Yeah, okay. And then we then we sleep and go to the flower dance tomorrow and get our scarecrow. Sound good to everybody? Did everybody get that? Alright, trilobite goes there. Perfect. Now we run back, we go get the muscle. Why slime on farm? We got monster spawning on our farm. But I'm not, he's not hurting anybody, so he's, I'm, I'm okay with just leaving him be. What did I do with my fishing pole? I'm pretty sure my fishing pole was left on the ground at the end of last stream, so it disappeared. So I have to go and purchase a new one at some point. Need to build up friendship with the mermaid pending guy in order to unlock the secret ending cutscene. El Excuse me, he has a name. It's Angry Roger. At least if uh, Charlie's theory is to be believed, which I can't, I haven't seen a reason to doubt it yet, so. fishing pole. We're going to be ripping a lot of fishing poles, just snapping them straight in half and throwing them into the garbage. Alright, crab pot bundle complete. It's a good one to have done. Now, give me the crab pots. And that opens up the bulletin board. That's actually, I, can, I have a chub in one of my fish tanks for that specific uh, set of bundles. Let's go put these crab pots somewhere on the beach farm. That's also a nice thing about the beach farms, that crab pots have, uh, have ready-built homes around here. 
not a very environmentally friendly challenge. Especially because I'm going to be, like, paving paradise and putting up a parking lot, pretty much literally, to build my, my mega shopping complex. Alright. Crab pots. I don't like that crab pot there. Can I move that a little bit closer to these other ones? Somewhere, like... No? It's, it's not, it's not going to let me do it, is it? Alright, I guess they're just going to have to be, like, weirdly spaced like that. Do I have enough time to go get bug meat and fill those crab pots? I only need, like, one piece of bug meat, right? Or is it, like, two? No, it's just one. I can go I can go find a bug in the mines real quick and just kill it with my scythe. Crab pots go into the rubbish right away. Don't tell that to Salmence. Is, doesn't Salmence like love crab pots, or is that is that someone else? I mean, if you if you have a lot of crab pots and you have the right professions from fishing, you can actually make a decent amount of money with crab pots. Get some crab pots. Get some worm bins. You're chilling. All right, we're going four fifteen. I see a bug. Bug spotted. Drop some meat, please. All right, your turn. This is probably not worth the time, but that's it. It was it was worth the drop, though. All right, perfect. Now we go and we craft that. That's more than enough bait, so that's fine. At least for one day. You know what? I, if I'm here, no, I'm gonna go. I was gonna say I could get one more bug meat and then I could craft ten bait and then I'd have some for two days, but it's fine. Welcome in, mind zoos. Glad to hear you like the video, and I'm glad you're here for your first stream. I hope you enjoy it. Although we will be wrapping up pretty soon. <laughs> Frosty Slime, you managed to send your, uh, your member for one month reminder. Thank you for being a member for one month at the Electron level. Your message tells me you had a bit of a, a, bit of a tough time getting it, getting it to me. But it is in front of my eyeballs now, so... Mission success. You did it. Alright, let's go to sleep. And let's do a flower dance tomorrow. I should grind the little dust things right away for the ring. Honestly, grinding dust sprites for the, for the burglar ring could probably be a smart idea. If I can get the burglar ring, that'll make it easier to get the, the drops from the shadow brutes. I also need to start befriending Clint. There's a lot of things... I'm, I'm balancing a lot of plates right now on, like, sticks. There's there's a lot to manage right now. What a... what an, Oh, gosh. I can't collect from the crab pots because I got bait to restock the crab pots. And now my magnet ring is betraying me again. Okay. All right, one crab pot at a time. We toss the soggy newspaper. We toss the broken glasses. You know, crab pots are probably not going to be that useful for me, but that is one cockle I didn't have before. There we go. Favorite sword is the Yassified Blade. We might get that from the remix, remix the mine rewards. That would be quite nice. Alright, give me some green beans, please. Why is the trilobite so big, dude? Oh my gosh. Are trilobites that big in real life? I mean, I know they're extinct, but like trilobite fossils... Like, that thing's taking up, like, a whole end table and, like, hanging off the side of the end table. Is there a beach crate? I will go looking for it. Thank you. Hail's coming in nicely so far. I still don't really have an answer for you as to why I purchased 50 kale seeds and planted them, but... Because, like, they're not even, like, the most profitable thing. They're not really, like, anything. Is Kale... Kale's, like, the best, like, uh... Gold to farming XP crop in spring, I think, though. Like, you get the most XP out of these for the gold that you spend on them. I think that's true. kind of a niche fact to know, but I'm, I've looked a lot into XP gains in this game, so 
Pardon me for knowing that one kind of off the top of my head. Satisfying to harvest? It, it, it's a scythe harvest crop, right? I should get well acquainted with them. I'm never... This scythe is ne literally never leaving my side throughout the entirety of the challenge. Every other tool will leave my side at some point during this challenge. The scythe is forever. Alright, what do we got in here? Speaking of the scythe... Four geodes, that's actually pretty good. Because I can sell them and that's like 200 gold. Alright. We got enough gold. Timbeeb has been pet and watered. I'm going straight to the flower dance. I don't even... You know what? I will go do my garbage run. And then we'll go to the flower dance. Might as well take care of that. You know, something I should check is if you can put hats on a uh, on a table. I don't. If I couldn't put rings on a table, I feel like I probably won't be able to put hats on a table. But I should double check that at least until I get a dresser. That could be a good way because if I get like the garbage hat, then I would probably swap that for the southwester, and then I'd have to put the southwester somewhere. So I don't know. We'll we'll see. Assuming I do actually get the garbage hat at some point in the near future. But if I check the garbage cans every day, it shouldn't take that long, right? Opium. How much is the rare crow? Should be 2,500 gold if memory serves, but I could be wrong on that. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain it's not more than 5,767 gold, though. In before, the, the, the rare crow is 5,768 gold. Just to troll me. Little trash. It's true, the Southwester, we can just buy it again if I want to, just like the, the straw hat, so I could trash it if the need arises, but I'm gonna hope that I don't have to do that. All right, we're going to the flower dance. The one inventory slot is free for the, for the rare crow to be purchased. Let's go do it. Yo, and the music is on this time, so we're not going to have, like, an awkward flower dance to absolute silence like we have in the past. Alright. What do you got for me? Hub of Flowers recipe? Probably not worth the investment right now, but this rare crow... Oh my gosh, you don't know how much I've missed you. You don't know how much this means to me. I will cherish you for the rest of my days. You beautiful, beautiful rare crow. Ask Emily. Sure, I'll ask Emily, my dance partner. I'm very sorry, but I've already agreed to dance with someone else. You know what? That's probably the 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 most polite way to say no. <laughs> gotta respect it. Gotta respect it. Compare that to your. Compare that to her sister. Ask her to dance with me, and she's gonna be all like, "You no." We don't think about it too hard, though. We don't take it personally because. In this timeline, we have not done... I've not gone out of my way to try and befriend Haley. We're in a bit of an awkward situation right now. You know, it's... I mean, it still stings, don't get me wrong. But I can understand it. I see where she's coming from. Don't get rejected by Haley, please. It's too late. It's too, I just... I, I had to rip off the band-aid this time. Last time this happened and I got rejected by Haley, I, like... I played it out... I like I was like, are we gonna get rejected? Or are we not? And then like when in the, when the inevitable sting finally came, it stuck with me. I did not sleep well for the next fortnight after getting after getting rejected by Haley. Now I'm just you know I was ready for it. I was expecting it. It's behind us now. Ask Abigail. Abigail is like nobody in this challenge. I'll ask Harvey. I'm sorry, I have to, I have plans to ask someone else. I mean, that's probably literally true. He's probably trying, gonna ask Maru, and she's gonna say yes, and we're gonna see the the fruits of that. Speaking of fruits, what is this? What is this? What is this item? And why is this Jello so? Why is it pulsating? These look like they could be like beets to me. 
These are beets. This is like some kind of like jet. This I think this is like a Jello salad, but there's also already a Jello mold. Is that sashimi? It's kind of dark sashimi. I guess it could be though. Ask Pam to dance. She's too enamored with the uh, with the bottles over here. Why is the Jello moving? It's just a very windy day. Must have been the wind. Did I speak to Alex yet? I did. Okay. All right. I know everyone's gonna reject me. I know I'm just that weirdo that throws things on the ground all all over the place. Is just littering the valley. So no one wants to dance with me. That's okay. I'll stand awkwardly in the corner with Clint. It's all right. Clint's the one I want to befriend anyway. He can at least send me a copper bar. Rare crow. We picked. We bought the rare crow, right? I'm pretty. Sh Don't gaslight me, chat. I bought the rare crow. It's the first thing I did. I didn't get tunnel vision and be like, "Ooh, Haley, I love you." I love your dress and your little flower crown, and you're so pretty, and I, and I want to, you know, marry you and build a shopping center for you and adopt kids and live a beautiful life and grow into old age with you. I didn't tunnel vision that, chat. I saw... I went and got the rare crow first, and I can prove it. She's right here. I'm going to put her, like, there. I don't know if that's going to reach everything necessarily, but it's, it's, it's a good spot for right now. All right. Anything else I should do with my remaining time today? Can't donate the trial of it, obviously. I could go get more bug meat for my crab pots, but that's kind of a fool's errand right now. Can I put a hat on a table? Cannot put a hat on a table. Confirmed. Okay, so this is staying on my head for the time being. Until we get a, uh, a dresser. Which should come hopefully soon. With extra strawberry money we're going to have and some kale money after that, then we'll be able to hopefully... I mean, I want to save up for the house upgrade first, I think. And then we will invest in a dresser, probably. Just run around. Maybe I get a, maybe get a lucky wilderness golem. Get a cheeky living hat drop. You never know. Gotta take every opportunity you can get. Almost 25k total earnings. Oh my gosh, you're absolutely right. I didn't even realize how close we were. Did we sell anything, like, big today? I can sell that, uh, that oyster over there. Probably is not going to be enough, but depending on what else I might have sold today. We might Yo, Wilderness Gold. We might actually get something out of, uh, out of this. We might be able to look forward to Demetrius tomorrow. And tomorrow will be next stream. Because we're about to end things off after this. And we get to make the ultimate decision as to whether we get the mushroom cave. That guy dropped a piece of coal. So we get the mushroom cave or we get the, the fruit bat cave. Not sure exactly which way I'm going to go. I did sell the geodes. You're, yeah, that's true. It's at least a few hundred gold. All right. Off to bed, though. Make sure. All right. Is anything on the ground that I need to actually keep? I used all my wood. I've got the forest sword here. Trilobite's on the table. Chub is in there. The table coal is still safe and sound. I mean, the sauce rerun. I don't think I need it, but I'll check it. All right. All bases covered. I think we're good to go. Hey, Preston Jacobs. Thank you for being a member for nine months at the Electron level. Can't wait to see where this wacky challenge goes. You and me both, honestly. This is We're already off to a pretty ridiculous start. And things are only going to get more ridiculous as time goes on. We're still in the very, very early stages of this challenge. Don't get, don't get it twisted. Ooh, not twenty-five thousand, but we did get up to seven, seven, seven. That's got to be a good sign, right? All right. I digress, though. I think we're that's where we're going to end the stream for tonight. Thank you all for joining me on this next leg of the Ultimate Iron Man challenge. Um. The third stream will probably not be until... It's probably going to be Monday next week. So it won't be for like another week or so. But uh, in the meantime, we will have some other streams. On a Thursday, around the same time, at 5, 5 p.m. Pacific, we are going to have a stream with Charlie Barley. We're going to continue playing through It Takes Two. Nice little fun co-op puzzle adventure game. I am, uh, I'm looking forward to it. We had a great time the first stream, and I can't wait to continue it with her. 
and we got the Giftathon after that. We got a lot of things. So even if you're just here for the Iron Man challenge, I know we got a lot of new viewers in here for the Ultimate Iron Man. I appreciate you being here, but if you're so inclined, if you've been enjoying yourself so far, hey, maybe come and check out one of those other streams. At the very least, I would appreciate if you did enjoy this one, drop a like down below. It really does help out the channel more than you can know, so uh, I greatly appreciate it. The, the, reception, the reception to this challenge has honestly been greater than I expected. It's uh, <laughs> it's kind of wild. I didn't I didn't realize how many people would be like invested in this sort of challenge, but uh, thank you all very much for making this uh, the start of the challenge so fun and special. But that's my little spiel for now. I'm going to sign off and probably go to bed because I am tired today. <laughs> Have a good night or good day wherever you are. Be good to yourselves. Be good to everyone else. And this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and have a great night. Bye-bye.